So hey guys. This is your favorite the fanfic club. So in this video. We will see what if Naruto was the son of Chaos and Artemis. Summary says. Naruto was exiled from Konoha after defeating Pain. He and a few others went beyond the veil for a new life and they are happy. Naruto is the son of Chaos and Artemis. He has powers from both and his own. He is becoming a host family after being in America for a while. He is not putting up with Smith's shit. The gods are watching like a show. Can they survive this, or not? But before we start, remember to subscribe and like this video. Now let's start. Two months before canon we find Ms. Smith and her assistant Mako Shiraki are trying to find a good family for these girls. Ms. Smith is the daughter of Aphrodite and Mako is the daughter of Ares. They are demigoddesses. Then she notices a tall, 19-year-old man with spiky blonde hair and blue eyes as he is wearing an orange shirt with black pants as he is holding bags of food, but she can feel that he is something more and has someone follow him. They follow him to a massive mansion. They also see some other women live with him as well, as she sees about four of them cleaning the house. They also see a ranch and are surprised by this. One is blonde with a nice rack, the same as the three in maid outfits. They know that the first blonde is a demigoddess but the male is interesting they must find out who he is. His name is Naruto Uzumaki Namikaze, a demigod, an Olympus demigod in fact, and not only that, he's the child of Artemis the goddess of the hunt in the moon and chaos primordial god of the universe. So he is a primordial, as his parents had him in mortal form. Meanwhile on the realm of the Olympus gods here some of the Olympians and some demigods are watching this like a movie and they are looking at Artemis in shock that she is a mother. But she is not really reacting. Sis why did you not tell us you had a child? Asked her twin brother Apollo as Artemis answers, simple brother, I didn't want to my son to be found out. But who is the father? Demands Zeus he is ready to kill the father, Artemis sighs upon that and answers to Zeus, it would not work father my son is also the son of chaos. That shocks everyone Artemis's son, this Naruto, is the most powerful demigod to ever be born, which is something unheard of in a long time of their lifetime. Artemis, who is the father, answer me now, shouted Zeus, as the king of gods and thunder growing angry as he did not get any answers, as I said the son of chaos the first primordial. So yes the mother of Gaia is the father of my son Naruto, said Artemis with no show of emotion. Hades grabs Zeus and says, I don't think that she is kidding at all. He is the son of Artemis and Chaos. As Zeus looks at his brother as he says, if that's the case, he must be P. Zeus is cut off as the shadows are gathering and out comes Chaos. He must what Zeus. Chaos is a woman right now with her hair looking like the universe and she is wearing a kimono. Hello Chaos dear. Said Artemis and Chaos looks at Artemis and smiles. Hello Artie how are things? Also how is our darling Naruto doing? She asked with the other gods notice the change of mood of chaos, she was angry and ready to kill and then the next thing she's being nice and friendly toward Artemis. Artemis answers, oh he's doing alright, and I believe something unexpected is about to happen to our beloved son's life. Oh this should be interesting but you know our son can handle himself. He got hunting and tracking skills from you and powers from me along with immortality he will live through anything. Said the being of chaos. Then chaos feels something from her son. Artie did Naruto unlock something deep within him as I am sensing something off with our darling son? I don't know but maybe something happened we will find out. Oh I really want to be with my son right now. Said Artemis with anime tears coming out of her eyes. Chaos nods then turns back to Zeus with a look of murder in her eyes. Back in the mortal world Naruto is sitting on a sofa with the busty blonde next to him with her head on his shoulder and she is drawing circles on his chest. Naruto is deadpan to all hell as he faces a woman named Kuroko Smith or Ms. Smith, as she tells him, so you're telling me you want me to be a host family for demihumans. She nods then feels a very dangerous aura, give me a good reason daughter of Aphrodite. Give me a very good reason or I will turn you into my target dummy to use arrows on. Threatened Naruto. Please calm yourself son of Apollo. Said Ms. Smith the pressure increases correct pair but wrong twin. Said Naruto he shows one of his eyes changes to his mother's eye. Stutters out, S son O of A Artemis. I am waiting for the reason. So tell me or I will send you and the daughter of war out of my house. I will enjoy that very much. Threatens Naruto as he chuckles as Miss Smith says, See cuz I it's the law. I'm sure that you remember about legalizing allowing demihumans to live among humans three years ago right? Naruto and the girl next to him chuckle, I was exiled from my home and spent time in America. 
Then I came here two months ago. In Japan I know about my parents and let me tell you something to remember who my mother is. I do hunt monsters like those in America. I might do it. I have not decided yet but if a demi-human is dropped off without warning. I will make your lives a living hell that you both would beg for Hades to take your souls, Miss Smith says, why you w wouldn't dare. Naruto looks at them with a look that says try me. Well girls introduce yourselves to them. Said Naruto then she notices that Naruto isn't listening as a woman start to introduce themselves. My name is Samui daughter of Kione, the goddess of snow. Said the now named Samui who has blonde hair like Naruto's with cold blue eyes as she wearing a gray shirt with a dark gray skirt, as the clothes really show off her body. As she is sitting next to Naruto with her head on his shoulder. They met when Samui came to Konoha to be Naruto's wife via a marriage contract that his parents put him in with Samui. When Naruto was exiled from Konoha she went with him with all of his parents' money and techniques. The silver hair maid spoke next, my name is Graphia Lucifuge I am the head maid. I was created by Lady Chaos to watch, care and train Naruto-sama. They are Hilda and Yolda. They serve Naruto-sama. Smith and Mako are shocked as hell there are two demigods are living here and one is stronger for some reason, Naruto says, oh and another, then Mako who is a 17 years old is she wearing high school girl uniform but her body is way more mature and sexy as she says, hold on a minute. Naruto's eye twitches, what do you want? As they could tell from his tone that he's annoyed now, Smith and Mako see he takes after Artemis very well. W we think I it would do some good you have a nice big house. With some of the species would do with you making sure they are safe, said Mako. Naruto just looks at them as he's not really impressed, not good enough so let's hear the true reason because I might not be in a very forgiving or a kind mood. Smith and Mako are shaking as they sense rage from him. On Olympus, damn Artemis you have one cold-hearted son as he's intimidating as all hell. He's even scaring me a bit, said Ares. Artemis looks at Ares as chaos is beating Zeus. No he is not cold hearted he just doesn't like surprises dropped into his lap without being able to think about things. It is how he is. He wants time to think about it. Explains Artemis. Athena nods and says, yes I can see that but he does need to learn to relax. Hestia giggles as she is tending to the hearth. You are one to talk Athena. Said Hestia. Hera is just sitting there saying nothing but is thinking about Naruto. That boy is not willing to go with that law easily. He needs convincing and that would be hard to do for Smith even if her mother would have trouble convincing him even with charm speak. I think I just found my favorite demigod. Says the thoughts of Hera as she makes mental plans for this demigod. Back on earth Naruto looks at Smith. So you want me to do this then you are going to be the one to explain this to my mothers and then let them decide what to do with you if I go through with this. Smith and Mako are nervous about having to deal with W wait M mothers? Artemis is not my only parent but Chaos is my other parent and they will have words with you too, said a smirking Naruto. Mako and Smith shiver in fear. They nod and Naruto says, good give me about two months so we can get this place ready it is big but we need to be told of who are we getting to get ready. They nod their heads so fast that the others thought that they would fly off. Lucky us we live near nature it helps keep us calm, said Samui and the maids nod. But if I am right the demi-humans would be females. They frown and nod. Now off with the both of you we have things to get ready for our guest. Said Naruto as he showed them the door and they head out. We will send you the file soon promise. Said Smith. Naruto says, I will hold you to that we do need to research the guest species. Smith and Mako leave and Naruto turns to the others. All right let's get ready for this and get it over with. I am so ready to kill them. Said Naruto as he walked away. On Olympus Zeus is done having his ass kicked and Chaos is sitting next to Artemis watching their son with smiles on their faces. Oh what do you think the first demihuman will be? I hope Arachne, said Artemis. Chaos looks at her and asks, why Artie? Artemis smiles, Naruto is a hunter and Arachne would be the best choice to start out with because they hunt as well they could get along. She explains. Chaos thinks then nods, that is true Naruto is a predator so are Arachnes they would get along well. Artemis looks at the video and sees something very shocking. Naruto turns into a silvery wolf and heads into the forest but that shock is increased as he has 10 tails. I it think t that my d darling c child h has u unlocked h his j juby powers. Chaos looks and replays and sees what Artemis saw then. So Naruto has unlocked his 10 tails powers and is stronger than the Olympians well that is news. 
That is interesting and it seems he can't be hypnotized at all. Good luck trying to get our son to be Aphrodite. Said Chaos smirking at a frowning Aphrodite. Aphrodite tried to get Naruto into bed with her once even with charm speaking but it did not work. He even made millions of dollars gambling and the owners could never prove he was cheating. He became even wealthier than he was before more than the richest families and man, but he was nice to donate money to charities. He never even asked for strippers cause she was ready to seduce him. Aphrodite looks at Chaos and Artemis as she says, oh just you wait, I will make him mine, after all I'm the goddess of love then turns back trying to make plans to get Naruto. As Chaos says to Artemis, she's only saying that since Naruto reject her offer of getting in bed with her since she isn't his type and he even told her this, sorry, I'm saving myself for my wives to be. Back with Naruto Naruto is running through the woods in his wolf form which massive silver fur with a yin symbol on his chest enjoying the rushing wind. Then people with guns come out of the woodwork and notice Naruto, and many of them begin to think that he's a demi-human, a rare one at that, meaning someone will pay top dollar, as for Naruto who stops and glares at them all. As he thinks, oh great, now they are going to rather capture me or kill me and sell me to the highest bidder, they aim their guns at him. But he shocks them by growing taller than then and lets loose a sonic roar. But this roar was different. What they did not know is an electrical charge was in that roar. When he stopped they tried shooting him but the guns didn't fire. Naruto turns into his human form. Well what have we here some pathetic shits trespassing on my property I own this whole forest. I know I posted no hunters on my property. So you have till the count of three to leave or else. He said cracking his knuckles loudly. The lead idiot says, screw it I don't need any weapons he can't harm us at all thanks to the law. The other agreed Naruto reached three and slams his fist against the leader's jaw causing a loud, snap. His jaw is broken, for your information you shits. I am a son of two gods not a demi-human so I can break you all and destroy you if I wish," explains Naruto and he has an evil smile with very sharp teeth being shown. Each of them look at Naruto, of what it seemed to be forever, all of them scream in fear and run toward out of the forest, but they are meet with the police and the air arrested and Naruto comes out dragging the leader, chief you know what I am and how I hate these fuckers coming onto my property. I have posted it and I am ready to start killing idiots, said Naruto. The chief sighs and says, I understand Naruto. You are following the law and they are trespassing. I can guess you will be pressing charges. Naruto nods. Yes I will just please I do like people hiking in my forest but I don't like people doing what they do and I hate it really. If this keeps it it I will close off the woods to everyone. I don't want to do that. Said Naruto with the chief nodding as he likes the relaxing air of the forest that Naruto owns. It helps after a taxing day. The police take the idiots away with the leader heading to the hospital. Naruto transforms and heads back into the forest and is enjoying it at night. Then he heads back home and helps get ready for the guest in two months. Lucky for them if it is a big species they can move around the house very easily. Six months later morning Naruto is laying in bed but he is not alone. Not by choice, their seventh guest is Mia the Lamia. She is coiled around him. Mia it is time to get up. Said Naruto but Mia replies with, five more minutes or better yet wait until my body heats up five more degrees. I am cold-blooded after all. Let me ask you why are you in my bed I know I am warm but that does not mean that your room is not to your liking at all. It is the right temperature for your kind," said Naruto. Mia does not listen and just cuddles but then Naruto tries to get up and says, well I will get the bath ready, said Naruto but he hears, nope. As Mia wraps her tail around him and brings him closer with his head in her breasts. I want you to warm my up darling, said Mia as she squeezes tighter. Her breasts had spilled out a bit and they are against Naruto's face. Naruto heads to the bathroom and gets the water heated and ready for Mia. The door opens and Mia comes in with no clothes on. The bath is ready for you and don't even think about dragging me in please. Said Naruto and Mia pouts wanting her darling to stay. Olympus Artemis eye twitches. Oh that snake better not try to get into my son's pants. I will not allow it. Everyone else is a little scared as Percy Jackson says. I don't know if I should feel sorry for him. At least Medusa is not like Mia at all. As he is looking away with the other demigods. But the gods tried to get a closer look and the goddesses hit them all and Artemis has her thrown on her brother. He is trying to escape from it but can't. The reason why he is under there he made a comment that Naruto is very lucky so Artemis slammed her throne onto Apollo. Trapping him underneath. Hera is looking at Artemis with wide eyes then asks, Artemis did you or Chaos carry Naruto? 
The reason I ask is you are very protective of him. Artemis looks at Hera and says, I carried him and I enjoyed it so much. But holding him as a baby oh my heart melted. Artemis was not acting like herself but it seems she loves Naruto very much plus hearts are coming out of her head. Hera is even more shocked Artemis carried Naruto for 9 months but as Kashina it was 10 months. Now I think that the gods have learned their lesson I hope that you idiots don't do it again. Said Chaos as Artemis nods and is enjoying her brother being trapped under her throne. Back on earth Naruto gets into the kitchen and they are talking about the singing group ANM48 and how they had made another number one song. Naruto gets to make breakfast. Then he says, what do you want Smith? I will be hosting my sisters and mother one day I hope you realize that. Said Naruto. That is good to know but I still need to make sure that you know the laws and harming the demihumans are a big no-no. Said Smith then she feels a furry tail wrapped around her neck and pulls her closer to Naruto. Remember this well Smith. I am not one to piss off or anger. You might be my cultural exchange coordinator. But that does not mean I will not end anyone who will invade my home. Said Naruto with glowing red eyes. Smith is nervous and nods as best as she can. Naruto then puts her back to where she was sitting and unwraps his tail and retracts it. You're more than just a demigod aren't you? Asked Smith who was trying to get her voice back. Yes I am in the realm of the gods as both my parents are gods though Mama Chaos is a primordial. Also an apex predator. I will protect this home with my life. Said Naruto who put food in front of her. Also I know the law but it is very hard to seduce me even your mother failed at it. Said Naruto as the other women beside Mia come into the kitchen. Samui comes into the kitchen saying, You should really keep it down when you try get Mia out of your bed Naruto. Most of us are still sleeping you know. Naruto looks at Samui and says, It was the only way to get her to uncoil from me. Samui nods then goes up and kisses his cheek then a tail wraps around his waist and pulls him away. It was Mia who has not dried off. Hey keep your hands off my darling no one is allowed to touch him not even you girls said a very unhappy Mia. But the other girls in the house are not happy they were with Naruto before her and she thinks that she runs the place. But someone grabs her from behind, and he is my boyfriend while Samui is his fiancé. Remember this I was here first before you, said a woman with five others behind her. Olympus, wait he has a girlfriend. I know he has a fiancé but a demi-human girlfriend I would like to know who it is, said Artemis hoping the girlfriend is not like Mia. Chaos says, I agree with you anyone better than Mia. Back with Naruto then Naruto vanishes from Mia's tail and she is looking around like mad then Naruto comes out of the shadows in the kitchen. Mia they are allowed. Now Smith on the other hand is not allowed. So no fighting in my house am I understood or must I get Grafia again? Said Naruto and the two girls are nervous Grafia is very scary. As on K Grafia walks into the kitchen and bows to Naruto, good morning master Naruto. Naruto replies good morning back and looks at Grafia with silver hair and silver eyes as she is wearing a maid outfit. Naruto is then pulled into an embrace. Good morning to you Cathal Chan. The now Cathal smiles and kisses Naruto on the head. Olympus they are looking at the six and are surprised, Naruto is dating a minotaur. Huh better than the snake as they are stronger, said Artemis. Cathal is a very tall and muscular woman, with very large breasts cue cup that grow larger when too full with long black and white hair. She keeps her hair in a ponytail with black and white stripes going down the length of it. Under each of her eyes she has a thick black stripe. As a minotaur, she has a pair of large horns on her head, cow ears, a cow tail, and her legs have hooves instead of feet and are covered with fur. Her clothing consists of nothing but ripped overalls with a small cow pattern bikini underneath and a pair of workers gloves. She also wears a cowbell around her neck. He is so lucky damn you nephew, shouts Apollo as many male gods are jealous of Naruto being in her arms as she has Q-cup breasts. The women attack, making them scream. Got milk? Asked Leo but a knife almost hits his manhood, watch thy tongue boy, said Zoe Nightshade as Leo is shivering. Back with Naruto, now Mia go dry off and hurry breakfast will get cold said Naruto as he gets out of Cathal's embrace then kisses her on the lips and Mia nods and goes to dry off and the others set the table. Mia comes back dry and then sits down and Naruto serves the food. They have a nice breakfast and they chat. Then Naruto helps Grafia clears the table and Naruto suggests that Samui and Mia go out shopping he has things to do businesses to check on. Mia asks, but why her darling? Naruto looks at her and says, Mia, 
Samui would be the one to help you get some nice clothes and so good bras. She knows some of the best places and if something happens she knows to call me. As he was about to place away his dish, but then he hears, well love we are going to work on the ranch as we have things to get done. Naruto smiles and nods. I know girls remember I will be back to milk you all soon. They blush as they love when Naruto milks them. Hell he makes ice cream out of it and milk for the cafe. Ice cream is the most popular. Naruto answers, well I have to head out to remember Samui if something happens call me. Samui nods. Samui and Mia head out so does Naruto. Olympus Artemis is surprised, milking them. They must be milking minotaurs. Though I think Konoha might want him back. Not happening. The demigods are surprised but Chaos just laughs at this. She knows Naruto is safe and can take care of himself but his life is getting very chaotic now and she knows that her baby boy could handle it. Artemis is planning some very evil ideas of what to do to Konoha and giggling evilly at them. Everyone but Chaos shivers in fear. But Chaos is thinking. Naruto must be careful because Konoha wants him back and the Akatsuki is after him as well. Back on Earth, Samui is with Maya at the clothes store buying some clothes for Maya. When they are done they leave the store then they hear a racist couple making fun of Maya. She was about to lash out but Samui has her tail and is talking to Naruto on the phone. Then hangs up then turns to the couple. It would be nice if you just shut up or else, said Samui. Or else what you blonde bimbo? Have you been fucking demi-humans cause you can't get a proper fucking from the right humans? Said the male while the female laughs then he joins her. What they don't know is Naruto is coming up behind them and then startles them by saying, Did I hear you both right you were making fun of Mia and my fiancé Samui? Oh both of you are pathetic idiots. Then jump in fear then turn to see Naruto staring down at them. Besides the world needs this change I don't see what the problem is. Because really your parents must have to fuck a very ugly animal to conceive you and really both of you stink. Said Naruto as he walks past them and grabs Samui and Mia. Moving them away and then takes a wrong turn into a love hotel. They get a room but Naruto is standing and Samui is comforting Mia as she is crying. Don't listen to them Mia they are just fucking follows really and you need to get it out of your head. Said Naruto. He is right Mia they are fools who have no right to talk okay. You are a kind Lamia. It doesn't matter who you are at all, said Samui. Naruto also hands her a bag of stuffed toys he thought she would like even the stuffed snake from the crane game. She wanted it but could not win it. But it seems her darling did win it for her. Olympus Artemis is ready to kill that man and woman. Naruto is right they don't know her she does not need to worry about them at all. They are pathetic really thinking demi-humans are dangerous and not normal. Yeah right Naruto is a better man than them. Athena nods at this logic. Your son is good at helping them remain calm I respect that with him. The demigods nod, it is not easy even the child of the big three have a hard time with this, said Talia. Back with Naruto Naruto is glad that Mia is calm and happy now then something crashes through the wall. Smith I am not paying for that I hope you understand that, said Naruto. He sees Smith in government armor and government employees to make sure no one breaks the law, hold it right there, shouts Smith. Smith then explains as they all go down the elevator and then they see the racist couple again and start making rude comments about Mia again. But what they don't know is that Naruto is one of his last nerve. Smith get everyone but these two out now. And like that Naruto and these two are the only ones left but they are laughing at him and white bubbles form over his hands. He then crosses his then he hits the walls causing cracks in the air then the cracks vanish. Then the wall of the building has cracks appearing and Naruto is smiling evilly. While the couple still laugh, they hear cracking and they look up at the ceiling and there are new cracks appearing. Then they understood the one they were laughing at was bringing the whole building down on them. They get out but everyone sees the building collapse on itself and they are shocked. Samui is holding Mia back as she is crying out, darling. They think Naruto is still in there. The building was destroyed. Smith looks at the racist couple with anger in her eyes. So have you two idiots learned that I am not one to really piss off at all? They all turn to see Naruto is fine and unharmed, because if I can do that then think about what I can do to you both. Now scram. Naruto shouts and they flee. Naruto then snaps his fingers in the building and everything inside is repaired as good as new. Come Mia and Samui let's go home. Said Naruto and Smith is wondering how he survived that. Olympus everyone is shocked and can't say a thing after seeing what Naruto just did. He cracked the air and brought the building down. But Chaos is laughing. 
Oh he got that power from me I love my son. Ha 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 ha. Go Naruto. Chaos just keeps laughing. They don't know what to say but Artemis joins in laughing at this. Very proud of her son. Back with Naruto. D darling H how D did Y U S survive? Asked with Mia nodding while holding the snake plushie. Naruto chuckles and says, simple I shadow traveled. Smith and Mia's eyes widen in shock. What a build falling on me would not kill me I would survive really. Said Naruto like it is nothing. They get to Smith's car but it seems that she is not up to driving so they all get in and Naruto is in the driver's seat. He drives them home safely where Mako is worried until she sees her boss's car pull up. They all get out and Mako is expecting Smith to be driving but the driver is Naruto. Naruto before going inside he milks his girlfriend and the others. Their names are Kara, Cream, Chizu, Mill and Ert. Kara is a very tall, dark-skinned woman with very large breasts L cup that grow larger when too full, as befitting a milk minotaur. For being a descendant of bullfighting minotaurs, she is remarkably fit and muscular. Her hair is short and dual-colored, white in the front and dark brown in the back, and usually hangs loose. As a minotaur, she has a pair of large, upward-facing horns on her head, cow ears, a cow tail, and her legs have hooves instead of feet and are covered with fur. Chizu is a very tall woman with very large breasts M cup that grow larger when too full, as befitting a milk minotaur. Her long hair is dual colored, white in the front and blue in the back, and is worn in a very long ponytail. As a minotaur, she has a pair of large, sideways facing horns on her head, cow ears, a cow tail, and her legs have hooves instead of feet and are covered with fur. Her regular clothing consists of nothing but overalls and a pair of worker's gloves. Like all minotaurs, she also wears a cowbell around her neck. Cream is a tall woman though still very short for a minotaur to the point of being the smallest of the ranch with large breasts J cup that grow larger when too full, as befitting a milk minotaur. Her hair is dual colored, white in the front and light brown in the back, and usually worn in long pigtails. As a minotaur, she has a pair of small horns on her head, cow ears, a cow tail, and her legs have hooves instead of feet and are covered with fur. Her regular clothing consists of nothing but overalls and a pair of workers' gloves. Like all minotaurs, she also wears a cowbell around her neck. In her spare time, Cream wears a short strapless short top and short shorts. Mill is a tall woman with very large breasts and cup that grow larger when too full, as befitting a milk minotaur. Her hair is dual colored, white in the front and dark brown in the back, and usually hangs loose. As a minotaur, she has a pair of large, forward facing horns on her head, cow ears, a cow tail, and her legs have hooves instead of feet and are covered with fur. Her regular clothing consists of nothing but overalls and a pair of worker's gloves. Like all minotaurs, she also wears a cowbell around her neck. Mill is also considered the big sister of the group as she is helpful to anyone that needs it. Mill is also Naruto's second demi human mate after Cathal, who is Alpha. Ert is a tall woman with enormous breasts Q cup, which are huge even by milk minotaur standards to the point of being the largest of the ranch. Even so, their breasts grow even more when they are full. Her hair is dual colored, white in the front and green in the back, and is worn in a large braid. She also has delicate facial features, which emphasize her timid and withdrawn nature. As a minotaur, she has a pair of large, downward facing horns on her head, cow ears, a cow tail, and her legs have hooves instead of feet and are covered with fur. Her regular clothing consists of nothing but overalls and a pair of worker's gloves. Like all minotaurs, she also wears a cowbell around her neck. Olympus many of the male gods are groaning and grumbling as Naruto is surrounded by sexy minotaur women and is only allowed to milk them. I have to say Naruto is living a good life now. Better than he did in Konoha. Said Artemis and Chaos nods, I agree dear he deserves it. He is successful as he owns many businesses. Back with Naruto they all go into the house with Mako and Smith talking in whispers. Well girls I think I will be in the forest think you can handle dinner? Asked Naruto as Samui says, yeah I can along with Grafia. At this Grafia nods. Naruto nods and opens the back door then transforms into a big pitch black wolf with the Yang symbol on him. He has ten tails and he heads out into the forest. Then Smith shouts out, Naruto is the wolf we thought it was a D-E-M-I-H-U-M-A-N. Grafia looks at her and says, Master Naruto likes running in the forest as a wolf it helps him feel close to his mother Lady Artemis. Smith is in so much shock that she has to sit down. Six months ago people tried to catch something in Naruto's forest. 
The leader had a broken jaw and the rest fled. Their weapons were useless the chief knows what Naruto is. And Naruto's companions beside Mia nods. This is so much to take in. Said Smith and Mako nods. Get used to it if you question all you will get is headaches really said Kara as she used to be like that but until she just learned to accept it over time since her first encounter with Naruto, Samui and Grafia are getting dinner made. Naruto is running through the forest and thinks, things are getting interesting, well more like chaotic than interesting. Olympus, well it seems Naruto is going to have a very chaotic life, said Hephaestus with Hades and Demeter nodding in agreement. Yes this demigod or demideity is very interesting really. Things are going to be crazy, said Hermes. Zeus is shouting that Naruto should not even be alive. Until Artemis slams her throne on him trapping him with her brother and sits on it. That is better some peace and quiet from him. He is the son of chaos and I but Zeus does not care at all, said Artemis. Everyone is thankful for Artemis doing that and is just watching Zeus and Apollo trying to get from under the throne. S sis p please l let m me you up. Came Apollo's voice from under her throne. Artemis just ignores him. Well I can't wait to see what happens next, said Hermes. Hermes knows that he might die laughing at all the funny stuff he sees. But what do you think will happen on the full moon? Asked Demeter. I have a hunch and I hope that I am very wrong about it, said Hades. Artemis and Chaos nod at that. Can someone please explain? Asked Annabeth. On the full moon demihumans well their animal instincts take over but Naruto might be different and a lot more dangerous. I hope he has thought this all through said Athena. I think he has thought of it. It did happen while Naruto was in Konoha, said Chaos and Artemis nods. Back on earth Naruto is laying in bed after dinner thinking. My life is getting to be very chaotic. Naruto and Mia are hanging clothes out to dry. Mia you seem happy today. Why is that? Mia smiles, oh because my darling defended me that is why. So I am allowed to be happy said Mia as she pats his shoulder hard as in her mind she sees Naruto in night armor. Would you please stop that? said Naruto chuckling. As they were heading back inside, well remember darling I will be the one protecting you from now on. said Mia as Naruto was about to enter he was carried away and Mia turned back around and saw feathers. Then screams, darling. The others look and see Naruto being flown away by a harpy. Cathal growls and gives chase. Olympus, who just kidnapped my son I will hunt them down, shouted Artemis as many people are hiding behind their seats along with Apollo and Zeus who are no longer under her throne. I think it was a harpy. They are not that bright arty, said Chaos. The harpy better not try and hurt my son or else, said Artemis who has her bow ready. Back with Naruto Naruto is flying through the air thinking, great what is happening today or my life. Then he finds himself in a tree he looks up to see a harpy with blue short hair and body of a young child with wings on her arms and bird-like legs, as she wearing a blue shirt with no sleeves and shorts, hi poppy the happy harpy poppy. No what that is not right. Poppy the harpy. Said the now named poppy. Nice to meet you poppy my name is Naruto and you know that you are not allowed out without your host family. Said Naruto. That is why I brought you here. They said I was going to be deflowered. Said poppy, you mean deported said Naruto who got out of the tree. They talked a bit then an ice cream truck was near and she wanted some then three steps and she looked at Naruto and asked, who are you? Naruto just deadpanned and he bought her some ice cream, so you ran away from your coordinator why? I don't know why really I can't remember, said Poppy then she drops her ice cream she starts to tear up but then hears Naruto snapping his fingers and the ice cream went into reverse and is back in Poppy's hands, thanks said Poppy then she starts licking and hears, no problem little sis, said Naruto. When they were finished Poppy had ice cream on herself and she stripped and jumped into the fountain. Naruto just deadpanned and was thinking should he call the chief of police. That is when he heard, there you are my darling snatcher. It was Mia and Samui along with Cathal, you took my boyfriend from home I want him back. A fight was breaking out after Poppy was dressed and Naruto got in the middle and grabbed both of their ears. Now will you both knock it off and try not to draw a crowd? Said Naruto with Mia and Poppy saying, darling why? Why big brother? But Cathal gets a kiss calming her down. Naruto looked at the crowd looking up at the tree and Naruto sees why a little girl is in the tree like she is stuck. Poppy said, I will get her down. But she fell flat on the ground, oh my wings are still wet. Mia was about to do something but she sees Naruto already on it, it is okay little one let's get you back to your mother. 
The little girl was nervous but nodded her head. Naruto picked her up and said, hang on. He got her out of the tree and back to her mother who thanked Naruto. Olympus, oh that's my boy. Said Artemis. She is happy that he has another sister figure and helped a little girl out of the tree. Percy says, at least he is willing to help others out. And his girlfriend Annabeth nods at that. Well it seems Naruto does have a good heart and was smart enough to stop a fight before it happened. Said Athena. This gets nods they turn and see and the officer finally arrives on a bike. A little late to the party man. Said Ares. Back with Naruto the police officer said, I got a call about a kid stuck in a tree. Naruto nods and responds, all taken care of officer. Well thanks for that. Say you must be part of the extra species bill where are your host family? Asked the officer and Naruto responds with, well Mia and Cathal is with me. Poppy will be joining us but I am waiting for the paperwork from the lazy worker Smith. So everything is alright. The officer nods in understanding. I hear you she is lazy as hell. While Mia and Poppy were very nervous but Cathal was calm then they heard a voice, here it is darling. They turn to see Smith with Poppy's card. Naruto knows that Smith was planning something and he will get answers. Olympus. I don't like that look on your daughter's face Aphrodite. Said Chaos and Artemis nods. Whatever do you mean? Asked Aphrodite with an innocent look on her face. They know she is up to something. Chaos goes up to Aphrodite and looks into her eyes and takes something. Hey give that back, shouted Aphrodite. Chaos has Aphrodite book of plans in her hand. Oh what have we here? Appear as my daughter and fuck Naruto he wants no one else ever again. Artemis is not happy at all. Hephaestus grabs Aphrodite and puts her into her throne. Then chains her there. Hera nods not happy at Aphrodite at all. Zeus has been silent and has not said anything. Hestia says, you really should not try that Aphrodite at all. The others nod and Ares says nothing along with Dionysus as he is taking a nap. Back with Naruto. That was fast Smith how did you do it? Asked Naruto and Smith answers with. I have been having trouble finding a host family for a repeat runaway. So I had to for I mean ask you to let her stay here. Naruto is in his house and says, so you planned on dumping Poppy onto my family. I know who the father of Poppy is but you are trying to be sneaky. Smith is sweating under his stare then there's a knock at the door. Naruto answers it and sees three people he really does not want to see. May I help you? Yes by order of the council you are to return to Konoha at once come quietly or things will get violent. Ordered Sakura. I am sorry but you have the wrong person. Whoever you are looking for does not live here. Now go away. Naruto then closes the door in their face and Sakura, Ino and Kiba are in shock. Then walk away grumbling. Who was that darling? Ask Mia and Naruto answers, three idiots of my past I want to forget about. Cathal snorts, they want my boyfriend back so they can get their allies back and maybe even use him as a stud to get women pregnant to take his family fortune. Naruto says, actually yeah they do. The girls who lived with Naruto before Mia nod in agreement. Now Smith I will take Poppy in but you owe me big. Said Naruto and Smith nods in fear. Big brother I would like a bath please. Naruto nods and gets her to the bathroom. Mia is just fine then Smith says, you see very calm about this Mia. Of course I mean Poppy is a child. Said Mia then Smith says, actually Poppy is the same age as you. Mia then says, what? Well, harpies evolved smaller bodies to be more aerodynamic. Explained Smith as Mia heads to the bathroom then breaks the door down, near mind darling I will keep Poppy company. Five minutes later Mia is putting shampoo in Poppy's hair and says, I want you to keep your grubby hands off my darling, you got that. I don't even have any fingers, said Poppy, while Naruto is in the kitchen and sighs. But Cathal kisses him with the other minotaurs, we know that you love us very much. Plus the full moon is near, said Kara and Naruto says, yes it is and I am kind of worried hoping the plan works. They nod. Olympus Artemis is shaking her head and says, they are idiots they were looking for my son and he was right in front of them and he fooled them. Pathetic. Athena is nodding and tells the demigods, always look underneath the underneath. There is always a way to tell when someone is lying. The demigods nod and Chaos sent her son a note telling him what he really is. And it seems that Snake is being very possessive of my son. I don't like it. Said Artemis. Apollo mutters lucky bastard. You want to go back under my throne Apollo? Threatened Artemis. Apollo pales and shakes his head so fast everyone thought it would snap. 
Back with Naruto the next morning Mia is wrapped around Poppy as Naruto is out getting some things they need. Damn I never thought I would have to make a grocery run first thing in the morning. Said Naruto as he was coming out of the market. He was heading into a roadway when he was slammed into a pair of eye cup breasts and he heard. How fortuitous that I would finally meet you. Must be fate I guess. My name is Centuria Shianus, a member of the proud centaur race. Could you be the man who is destined to be my master? Naruto sees a woman with long blonde, blue eyes and her other half is a horse as she is wearing a white shirt with a red ribbon with a black skirt that covers her house half part and she's carrying a sword. She looks at Naruto who is now getting back up. Olympus Artemis eye twitches Zeus as drooling then he finds himself under Hera's throne. That is one way to meet someone. Said Artemis who is not happy. Chaos is giggling and the demigods are looking like, WTF. Yes the party ponies are not the only centaurs left where Centuria is from they are warriors. Explained Chaos and Athena looks like she didn't even know that. Back with Naruto, ah Centuria. She has special permission to go out and find her, master, it is a tradition of the centaurs. Said Smith who is on her day off. Master? Asked Naruto on the phone. I think she means host family. Said Smith then she yawns and turns on her side and said, I don't deal with this stuff on my day off. Look take care of it for me, would you? Thanks darling. Then Smith ends the call with Naruto saying something as she hangs up and went to sleep. Naruto's eye twitches and mutter, lazy woman. Centuria says, it seems Japanese magic is true. They say if you run into someone on these then they are fated to be together. Then Naruto responds with, that only happens in anime and manga. Not reality. Maybe I should have brought toast as well. Said Centuria. Naruto deadpans and asks, where the hell did you hear this stuff from? Then someone on a moped passes by and steals a woman's purse. Centuria grabs Naruto and moves them out of the way where his head is well, between her breasts. Olympus many gods are not happy and Apollo shouts out lucky bastard nephew then he finds himself under Artemis throne again. Many demigods got the back of their heads smacked. Percy was safe as he looked away. Annabeth is happy about that. Back with Naruto Centuria lets Naruto go and Naruto starts to go after the thief with great speed. Centuria is not far behind and when Naruto catches up he jumps and grabs the guy off his ride. The police come and arrest him. As Naruto and Centuria were heading to Naruto's house they were stopped by three idiots. Sakura, Ino and Kiba and they say, there you are loser we are here to bring you back home whether you want to or not. Kiba jumps at Naruto but Naruto grabs his throat. Then choke slams him down with his shockwave abilities causing Kiba to pass out in the ground to crack around them. This is your one and only warning I will not ever return to that hellhole of a village. So you can all kiss my ass. Shouts Naruto and he throws Kiba into the other two. Ino moves and attacks but Centuria hits her with her sword but Ino grabs her shirt and when she falls she rips the front of Centuria's shirt bearing her breasts to the world. She quickly covers her breasts up as best as she can with her arm. You bitch. Naruto intervenes and ties them up and hands them to the police explaining everything. Naruto then gives her his jacket and she puts it on. They then keep heading to his home. Olympus the women are very angry at what Eno had just done and men have passed out with a nosebleed well all but Hades, Poseidon, Hephaestus, Percy and Jason. That pathetic little bitch. You don't bear another woman's breasts out in the open ever, shouts Hera. It is very rude and they are going after my son, shouts a very angry and protective Artemis everyone who can is hiding cause she looks like she could raise Konoha to the ground. Back with Naruto Centuria is shocked at Naruto's house. Welcome to my house and if I am your host family then you can run in the forest without me. Said Naruto as Surya is surprised by the ranch and the minotaurs. W wait master I, I can't. Said Centuria then Naruto looks at her and says, it is part of my property. The whole forest. Centuria is even more shocked at hearing that. Also nice sword I know a fake when I see one. Said Naruto. Then 15 minutes later they are in the living room. So why are you trying to find a master? Asked Naruto. Centuria said, first please call me Surya my family and friends do. As to why I wish to be like the ancient hero Hercules and Chiron. Naruto snorts, I agree with Chiron but Hercules is a fucking jerk. He is arrogant like his father is and he betrayed my sister Zoe Nightshade after she helped him get an apple from Hera's tree. He is also a downright pervert. Surya gasps and says, how dare you. Naruto looks at Surya and then tells her to follow him. Naruto then leads her to a waterfall on his property. 
Then a golden drachma appears in his hand. O Iris goddess of the rainbow please accept this drachma and show me Chiron of camp half-blood. He tosses the coin into the rainbow and the mist turns into a message. Olympus, wait. He knows Chiron. Shouts Annabeth. Then he must have gone to camp half-blood. The demigods are shocked at this information. Artemis just nods at that. Yeah he has been to camp half-blood but he mainly stuck to the shadows and rarely ever competed in the capture the flag game. Annabeth then thought to when she felt someone was watching but never showed themselves. What about food? He hunted and during the full moons he was in the forest around the camp and none could enter the forest even the harpies at all. It was to keep everyone else safe. He has come out of the forest but he put something on the cabins in the big house and stables to keep it locked tight so he could not get in. Explained Artemis. So he has a plan for the full moon good to know. Said Athena. Chaos and Artemis nod and say, not even we know what he looks like at all. Selena Beauregard has talked to him but he has never shown her what he looks like on the nights of the full moon. They are shocked Naruto talked to one demigod. She is a daughter of Aphrodite but a lot different from her siblings. She trains. Back with Naruto Naruto and Surya are looking at a male centaur Chiron himself. Hello my friend how are you? Asked Naruto. I am well Naruto and it seems that there are more centaurs out there. So tell me how can I help you? Asked Chiron. Surya here does not know the truth behind Hercules. So I thought I would have her talk to you. Said Naruto. Chiron nods and tells the truth behind Hercules and she is shocked at the truth. Well thank you Chiron I will let you get back to work. Said Naruto, all right Naruto it was nice talking to you again. Said Chiron then Naruto puts his hand through the mist breaking the connection. I know the truth hurts and trust me I know more than you think. Said Naruto as they are back in the house. Yes it does hurt but I went out looking for my master and I have found him please accept me master. Said Surya who is bowing to Naruto who sighs very well. Then they hear the door open and see Poppy and Mia. How many girlfriends are you planning on bringing home darling? Said an angry Mia. Then Poppy said, yeah and what's for dinner? Surya then says, ah how rude who are these girls master? Master he is my darling. Responds Mia and Poppy says, hungry hungry. Naruto then just sighs. Girls knock it off. Shouts Samui and Mil says, can we all please just calm down. Olympus Artemis's eye is twitching ready to hunt and kill these girls. Percy says, I don't know if I should pity him or feel sorry for him. And his girlfriend asks, why do you say that Percy? Because he has a sister figure and three more mouths to feed along with a possessive Lamia and a very loyal centaur. Along with Konoha after him. He really looks ready to explode. Annabeth nods in agreement on that. Then says, is the full moon close? Artemis freezes and that answers it, yes it is almost the full moon. Back with Naruto, listen up ladies now that I am living here my master is my number one priority. Said Surya. Yeah right darling is my priority. Said Mia. Poppy says, big brother is my priority. While Cathal and the others are eating and not talking as they are kind of annoyed. Naruto just sighs and mutters, at least Grafia and the others are willing to help. Two days later at night Samui has Mia close to her with her mouth covered. Cathal is the same with Surya and Grafia with Poppy. Mil, Kara, Ult, Cream, Chizu and Hilda along with her sister Yolda are against the wall as well. As a shadow is outside of the locked down house and they are safe. Now you must be wondering what the fuck is going on. Well it started like this. Flashback to this morning Mia has explained the rules of the law and even a made up one where they have to listen to everything Mia says. Then Cathal comes in and says, then why do you not listen to the minotaurs as we were here first? Mia stops after that. Naruto then walks into the room telling Surya she has paperwork to fill out and a horseshoe print is around his left eye. Surya and Mia then fight after Surya said that Smith told her she has hurt Naruto before. While Cathal is helping Naruto heal a bit. Naruto then sees Steamform Poppy who tells Naruto that she wants a bath and Naruto asks Grafia to help Poppy with her bath and Grafia does. Surya then takes Naruto to the park. Where they talk. Then Mia and Poppy appear an argument breaks out and they are about to fight Naruto unleashes some of his power stopping them. Then Smith shoots him with tranquilizer darts and he is not happy. Naruto is lying on his couch. He then tells the girls that they really need to stop fighting and that all of this is Smith's fault. Then Smith has something to tell them. Smith has just explained that Naruto had to pick one of the girls to marry Poppy turned it down because Naruto is her brother. 
So Naruto had to choose between Surya or Mia. Smith do you have any idea how bad it is today? Questioned a very pissed off Naruto. Smith and Mako are shaking. W whatever do you mean darling? Asked Smith. Naruto growls and it sounds primal. You don't know then let me spell it out for you. Tonight is the full moon. Smith and Mako shiver even more at that yell as it is not Naruto's normal yell. Grafia call the police chief tell him code moon. Commanded Naruto and Grafia bows and goes to do that right away. Tonight is the worst night. Mutters Naruto. With Grafia. 110 what is the problem? Asked the person connect me with the police chief immediately. Said Grafia. One minute please. Said the person then the chief picks up. This is the chief. Then Grafia says, Code Moon. Then hangs up. With the chief after the chief heard that he hung up and then told his staff, We have a Code Moon people this is not a drill. The police are mobilizing their units and heading to Naruto's home now. Olympus, it seems my son and the chief have plans for tonight. Good thing too. He needs the forest cleared out and it is for the safety of everyone. Said Artemis. Athena nods and says, I have a feeling something is going to happen and it will not be pretty. The other nod at that and Apollo is out from under his sister's throne. Blood will be spilled tonight. Innocent or rotten we don't know, said Ares with a downcast look. Back with Naruto Naruto is nursing a bottle of strong sake when the door opens and he sees two maids walk in. The first one is the younger sister Hilda. Hilda is an extremely beautiful young woman with glossy blonde hair that covers one side of her face and is usually tied in a bun forest green eyes and has a large bust which is equal or bigger than her sister's. Her clothes are mostly elegant and black with frills and white quillings, thus resembling elegant gothic lolita fashion. While her sister has the same hair color and length. Along with eye color her maid outfit shows more of her breasts than her sister's does this as Yolda. Are the safe haven cabins sent up? Asked Naruto. They bow and respond with, yes they are set up with the seals to protect them if there are any people in the forest signs were put up to stay in those cabins if they are caught in the forest after dusk. But demi-human hunters and rapists will not be allowed to enter at all. Naruto nods, good. Come in Grafia. The door opens and Grafia enters and bows, the police are on their way master. Naruto nods. With Mia and Surya they are worried about what is happening to their master, darling. Then they hear sirens and the police pull up to the forest and Mia turns on the TV and sees the news. Everyone tonight is the full moon so we are in a code moon. You must be out of Naruto's forest by dusk and if you are still in at night then there have been safe haven cabins set up to keep you safe whatever happens please stay safe in that forest. It is to keep everyone safe and sound. Said the news anchor. People listening to the radio hear this as well. They have heard the stories about what happens on the full moon and Naruto has been working with the police on this. Mia and Surya are worried about this. They see police setting up strong barriers that will activate at dusk to keep people out of the forest. Olympus, at least has a plan for all of this and it will help in the long run, said Percy with the demigods nodding. But Zeus does not like it and says, we will see how bad he is then. Then we will vote if he should be put down or not. Artemis is ready to shoot her father with an arrow. Silence Zeus my son is a demi primordial not under your command. He will listen to Artie and I but you. Yeah right he would rather deal with Tartarus than listen for you. Said Chaos. Zeus then says, silence I am king of the gods my word is law. Then he gets blasted by Chaos and she says, I am your creator you are not higher than me Zeus you are not my better. Then Zeus is under Hera's throne. Enough out of you. Showed as Hera. Chaos and Artemis nod in thanks to her and Hera nods back then they go back to watching Naruto. Back with Naruto, well chief it seems that tonight is going to be rough as all hell. Said Naruto as he and the chief are in his living room. Yes it will Naruto and I hear you have my daughter Poppy is one you were watching over. Thank you. Well tonight will be rough on all of us. Said the chief. Yeah you got lucky that night as I recall. I might not be in my right mind but I remember things. You were one of the lucky ones escaping that night, said Naruto and the chief nods and they see people leaving the forest. The sun is getting ready to set it is almost dusk, said the chief and Naruto nods, those left in the forest will have the haven cabins if they are innocent and they are easy to find and directions were put up, said Naruto. The chief nods and agrees with that and rubs his chest where the scar he got from Naruto in his full moon state is, it is aching right now. Let's get you outside into the forest, said the chief. Naruto shakes and says, 
just to the backyard the stuff in the backyard is sealed up and locked tight until tomorrow morning. Sai I hate the full moon at times, said Naruto. The chief nods and they get up and head out to the backyard. They meet Grafia on the way, you know what to do. Naruto told Grafia and she nodded in understanding. Naruto gets outside and Grafia closes the door and activates the seal, locking down the mansion from the backyard entrance. Surya and Mia come to see this, why is master, darling out there it is not safe for him? They demand an answer. Because the one they need to protect the people from on the full moon is him, said Samui shocking all three demi-humans, the chief has already left the house. What do you mean by that? asks a distraught Mia. Samui sighs and starts to explain, as the demi-primordial child of chaos and Artemis along with being Jubi his instincts take over every full moon. He has had this problem since he was young. Naruto-kun is thinking of our safety. We are safe as long as we don't go into the backyard. They hear the barrier connected together and the sun is setting and the moon is beginning to rise. They yell out, but we want to know who will he marry, both Mia and Surya yell out. Marriage is the last thing on his mind and it should be for you both as well. Surviving is what you both should worry about, said Cathal. They hear groaning and they turn to see Naruto groaning. They see the moon is showing and glowing brightly. Naruto then lets out a soul shattering scream. As he transforms, black and red energy is surrounding Naruto. When it vanishes, it shows what he has become. Naruto has become a massive wolf with ten tails and a mixture of red and black fur. He can either be on his hind legs or on all fours. He has soulless black and red eyes. Flashback over Mia, Surya and Poppy are scared as they hear the growling of the beast then the shadow moves away into the forest. They are released, we are to stay in this house understand. Naruto-kun will return tomorrow. Said Samui and the three demi-humans nod in understanding. Then Naruto's cell rings and Grafia answers it, how may I help you Smith? Where is darling? Asked Smith and Grafia responds with, busy at the moment please call back again tomorrow. Then she hangs up before Smith can say anything else. With Naruto there is a teenage girl in the forest and is running from rapists, come girly we won't hurt you much. They snicker then they hear a primal roar and the teenage girl picks up the past and comes upon a safe haven cabin and someone has the door open. Hurry. The person shouts and the teenager gets in safe and sound, the door closes. The rapists are trying to open the door then Tails come out and grabs one of them and drags him into the darkness of the forest they hear screaming then a loud snap then blood comes from where he was dragged. They try to get in more but the door is not opening. Then the one who killed the rapist comes out with bloody teeth and they scream. The beast attacks them and slaughters them with ones inside scared out of their minds and praying that the beast can't get in. Olympus demigods are throwing up along with Aphrodite. So this is what happens to my darling son on the full moon said Artemis who has a shiver go down her back. Zeus is looking sick and orders Artemis, you are to go down there and kill him now I don't care if he is your son at all I want him dead. Artemis just looks at Zeus and says, go suck on your bolt father I will not kill my darling child. You can't do anything either. He has not attacked Olympus and don't give him a reason to. Hera nods at that, we are leaving him alone Zeus and no matter what you say Naruto will not be put down. You are biased to your own kids. When they do something that could make them a threat you reward them. But if it is anyone else's you always move to have them killed. That ends now. Shouts Hera. Zeus is not happy as no one supports his order. Back with Naruto. The rapists are all dead and Naruto looks around the cabin but can't find a way in. Then smells more prey and heads out. Those inside the cabin let out a sigh of relief. Naruto keeps heading to where the scent is. Naruto took to the trees and saw 50 to 100 demi-human hunters. I know there is a demi-human here. They are affected by the full moon. We must be careful finding them. Ordered the leader before Tails grabs him and he screams until blood splashes in the area and they start shooting hoping to hit the demi-human. One by one the hunters are dying right, left and center. Only 20 are left and they are scared about what is in the forest. M maybe T there I is a AR reason W Y T this F forest C closes A at D dusk. Stuttered one who saw 80 people die in front of him. They hear footsteps they turn to see to their shock a red and black wolf with blood coming from his mouth and hands along with his tails showing that he killed their friends. It seems it still hungers for blood. It lets out a demonic roar scaring them. They try to escape but the wolf knows the forest too well. One by one they are killed the last two are found and the wolf appears. 
grabs the first one and rips him in half and the second one the wolf bites his neck removing the man's head from his body. The wolf then lets out a demonic roar again. He runs back into the forest. To hunt for more victims to feast on. Time skip morning the barriers are lowered people were escorted out if they were in the safe haven cabins and the forest was cleaned up of the blood and bodies. Surya, Mia, Poppy, Smith and Mako are waiting for Naruto to return. But it seems Naruto's girls are used to this. The back door opens and Naruto walks in. They were about to crowd around him but Grafia stopped them before they could. The full moons are always hard on him, she said. Mako pushes her glasses up and asks, why was this not in his file? Naruto looks at her and answers, because if it got out what do you think they would do to me they would hunt me down. Only those who need to know about it do. The ones at the top like your boss. I am the deadliest being in the world and if I know that lightning asshole he is calling for my death now. Smith and Mako are shocked at this. Olympus, damn he has you pegged very easy pops. Said Apollo and the other gods nod at this. There is no way that my darling child would be hunted by me or the hunters. You have no right to order my son's death. He has friends in the Shinto religion, said Artemis. Zeus is grumbling about not being able to do anything about Naruto who in his mind wants his throne and to overthrow him. Chaos looks at Naruto and sees something is wrong. Okay Naruto is not doing so well. He remembers what happens on the full moon. Wasn't he shot? Asked Chaos and Artemis nods, oh that explains it. Back with Naruto. Grafia calls the paramedics said Naruto and she does while he goes to sit on the ground near the sofa. The ambulance arrives and they check on him. These are the normal responders for him. Long night a eh, Naruto? Asked the team leader as they removed his shirt and saw the bullet wounds. The full moon nights suck. Said Naruto and the medics chuckle and the leader responds with, yeah if we all went through what you go through then it would suck. They remove the bullets and patch him up and he slowly stops bleeding thanks to his healing abilities. I really need to find out how to make sure this does not happen ever again. I hate transforming like that," said Naruto. The lead medic nods and says, true but many innocent lives were saved thanks to your thinking. Those cabins saved lives they were shaken up but they will live. Naruto nods then coughs up a little bit of blood. Damn last night was hard," said Naruto the medics are finished patching him up. They head out and after that, oh darling. Shouted Maya who wraps around him then they hear, let master go he needs to heal. Shouted Saria, after some fighting they got Maya off him. But it was Cathal that pulled Maya off Naruto with the help of Kara. Thanks and Saria is right I need to heal right now. Said Naruto as he gets up and his upper body is bandaged. Cathal and the other minotaurs kiss him and says, have a good sleep love. Plus I must recover from last night said naruto but smith gets in the way hold it right there darling you have some explaining to do now smith i had a long night and i am in no mood to deal with you right now so please let me fucking rest said naruto and his eyes are glowing smith backs off and grafia grabs her and pulls her away naruto then walks to his room i will be better by lunch so please don't disturb me and i will explain later i promise said naruto as he disappears into his room Give him time to heal he needs it more than you know," said Mill and the others nod with Smith, Mako, Mia, and Surya looking unsure. Time skip lunch they are all having lunch when they hear footsteps coming from Naruto's room. They turn to see Naruto coming into the kitchen and grab a water bottle from the fridge. After that he takes a drink and sits down. So you want answers right? They nod Naruto sighs and says, very well. Naruto then explains about his life and what he went through. They were thinking how Naruto never went insane with what he went through. Then he told them what happened on the first full moon and the death and destruction he did and how the third Hokage had helped him out. They were shocked that Naruto had to go through that every full moon. Now you understand why I go out alone on the full moon it is for the safety of those around me, said Naruto. We don't care about that. You're my darling, master, said both Surya and Mia. Mako pushes her glasses up and Smith does the same. That explains a lot. I will talk to my boss and the leaders of the extra species. We might be able to do something to help you," said Smith. She and Mako left to do that and Mia was hugging Naruto with him thinking. My life might be looking up or it might get more devastating, sigh so long peaceful life. But Mia starts to hug him too hard. Naruto starts grunting but Mill and Cathal get her off him. 
Naruto is making breakfast while Poppy is playing a video game and Surya is taking care of her sword. Then Mia comes in and says, I wonder what darling is making. She comes over and opens a pot and sees some glowing eyes. Mia is confused then it jumps out and surrounds her head making her scream. Olympus everyone is just sitting there not knowing what to say. D does anyone have an idea what that is? Asked Percy and the demigods are just as confused as him. It looks like a slime Jackson. Said Athena who was interested in this. Back with Naruto Naruto is looking at the bowl with Surya with Mia laying on the couch while Cathal and the other minotaurs are working on the ranch. Poppy is playing a game and Graphia and the others are busy with their own things. Okay who or what is this being? Asked Naruto as he is drawing a blank here. It seems we have a slime. Many demi-humans are not known to the humans and slimes are one of them, said Surya. Really now that is interesting, said Naruto then Surya pulls out her sword and says, but no worries master I swear on my sword even if it is fake I will protect you from the slime, said Surya who has her sword out. Naruto gives her a deadpan look and says, remember what I am Surya. She just chuckles with a sweat drop. Poppy latches on to Naruto and says, play with me Ni Chan, she does not know what is going on. Naruto sighs and says, okay I will play with you. Naruto then gets ready to play and the slim moves and it becomes bigger Naruto and Surya turn around. I got this. Surya slashes the slime but it does not work, w why didn't it work slimes are the weakest monsters in video games, she says and Naruto deadpans then the slime makes both of them so sticky. Uh you okay Surya? Asked Naruto and he sees her shirt is now see through, I, I am fine just sticky. Stuttered Surya. Naruto then says, well I am going to take a bath. He heads to the bathroom. Bathroom Naruto is under the shower with a towel in his lap. Olympus. Aphrodite is blushing with steam coming out of her ears along with other women. Holy shit he is ripped. Said Percy who is jealous Naruto has an eight pack and a great build showing he works for it with some scars. Annabeth is looking away and Percy does not blame her and he mutters, maybe I can get some tips from him. Artemis and Chaos are not showing anything on the outside but on the inside let's just say some very unhealthy thoughts are going on, with an R rated. Back with Naruto Naruto is relaxing and then hears Surya, Master D do you am mind if I joined? Naruto answers, hang on. Snaps his fingers and he has his towel on tight. Okay come on and I will help you Surya. Said Naruto then he puts his hand over his eyes and takes his sight away but he can still see. Surya opens the door and a towel is covering her breasts and she is nervous and blushing. Olympus many men are screaming as they are losing their manhood because of how Surya looks and Zeus is the main one. Percy, Hades, Poseidon, Jason and the other male demigods looked away. Apollo is losing his manhood to Artemis who is pissed as all hell. Hell Hephaestus was tinkering with something when it all happened and was not paying attention at all. Those that looked are screaming out, not there anywhere but there. The demi goddesses are happy the demigods looked away. Back with Naruto, Surya is nervous, then Naruto looks at her with eyes like he is blind. Surya blinks in confusion. A uh, master, how are you blind? I know you can see just fine. Naruto chuckles and says, I made myself blind to make you a bit more comfortable. The one people I will see without any clothes are my lovers, and truthfully, I know you are nervous being like this with me in the room, so I thought about you. Surya blush reddens even deeper. He is so thoughtful of others' feelings I picked a good master. She then asks, see can you help me? Naruto smiles and nods. He walked over to her and was able to do it without hurting himself. Naruto then starts to help clean her up. Olympus while the men that lost their manhoods were out cold. Artemis had blurred the parts around Surya's chest and told those that survived losing their manhoods they can look. They hesitated and slowly turned back to watch and saw Naruto did something to himself. Uh what did Naruto do I know he can see but his eyes are different? Asked Annabeth. Artemis smiles and says, he blinded himself to make Surya more comfortable while this is going on really. Artemis is proud of her son. Chaos also smiles and then they hear what he said and Hera smiles along with Hestia. He is being very kind to the girls. I know if Graphia was there he would ask her to wash Surya. Said Hera. Artemis and Chaos nod. Back with Naruto he was close to her backside and she said, why you don't H have to do there am master. Naruto looks at her and says, I know but I am just helping my friend out. Naruto smiles then senses something and says in a serious voice while losing his smile, we are not alone. 
He was right the slime was here and Saria freaked out and fell hitting her head knocking herself out the slime then takes human form. Looks like a full grown woman with an antenna. She jumps at Naruto but he dodges and throws her back into the water, stay. Commanded Naruto and the slime does with puppy dog eyes. Naruto gets Saria out, dries her off and dresses her then gets dressed as well. He then returns his sight. The head into the living room and are talking about it. So the slime has a human form. Ask Mia and Naruto nods. Yes she does it seems that she needs liquid to survive and to take a form really. Said Naruto. They did not know the slime and Poppy were playing the video game until they turned around. Ten minutes later. I suggest calling Smith. Said Saria but Poppy said. No Sue is not going anywhere. They look at Poppy and ask. Sue. And Poppy answers. Yeah slime starts with yes and I named her Sue. The slime now named Sue said. Sue. Naruto deadpans and says, well I got no better idea but she needs clothes. Yeah but any clothes she wears will slide off of her. Said Mia. Naruto thought then had an idea and put a raincoat and boots on Sue. It does not absorb water. Said Naruto and Mia along with Surya said, clever. Olympus the demigods just don't know what to say and neither to the leftover gods and goddesses. Then they see Poppy take Sue out of the house. I don't know how to respond to this at all said Artemis and the others nod at this. Back with Naruto Naruto found Poppy and Sue by the river and he saw them playing with kids. Then Sue is watching Poppy and the boys have water guns. Then she absorbs some water from the river and grows to her adult form. She hugs one of the boys and he gets a nosebleed. The other three want on but she puts her right hand out with her index and thumb out like a gun. The boys are confused then they get blasted with water making them drop their water guns and Poppy gets them and gives them to the girls retreat. They head up the hill with the boys getting wet and the girls chasing them then one girl loses her hat and it rolls into the street she goes to get it. A truck is coming and the driver is saying, oh yeah this is power. I always said you should buy American made. The woman agrees then they see the girl the driver is about to lose control but he feels the back of the truck is being lifted up but someone in the truck is not moving. He looks in the rear view mirror and sees the one doing it is Naruto. Olympus everyone is shocked at seeing Naruto able to lift the back end of a very heavy truck making it not go anywhere. I I don't even know if he won't shock us anymore Lady Artemis and Lady Chaos your son is very powerful and strong. Said Percy who knows he would not be able to do that ever. Artemis and Chaos just nod at what Percy just said. Then Hera says, he might be stronger than Hercules. Zeus then yells out, no one is stronger than my son. Oh shut up you old windbag my son is stronger than that muscle brained fool. Said Chaos. Zeus is fuming then a rusty knife is brought out and Zeus is scared and covers his balls. Chaos chuckles and turns back to watch her son. Back with Naruto. Naruto is holding the back of the truck. Poppy get the girl in the hat now. Poppy flies in and grabs both and Naruto puts the truck down and walks to the driver's seat and bangs on the window. It is then rolled down. Do you have any idea how much trouble you would have been in if I did not stop this damn truck? Yelled an angry Naruto scaring the driver. There are signs that tell you the speed limit I think you should heed them from now on. Naruto was finished and the couple drove off and the little girl was crying. Naruto comforts her and tells her it is okay. Then her mother comes running. Naruto sighs and tells the officer what happened and the officer nods and writes everything down in his notebook. The mother thanked Naruto for saving her daughter again. After that Naruto Poppy and Sue were walking home and Naruto was on his cell with Mia and Surya. Sue is not that bad really. Naruto turns to see Poppy touching Sue's chest. I still think that we should call Smith darling. Said Mia on the other side. Think of Sue as a child we can teach her really. Said Naruto and with Mia and Surya are a little unhappy then they say, like a child. Then the whole fantasy with Naruto and they have a kid and he married Mia in her flash and Surya in hers. Then Mia says, well when you put it that way. What is wrong with me he's my master I should not have imprudent fantasies like that. Said Surya who is blushing while bashing her head against the wall. Naruto, Sue and Poppy are in front of his house and say, we will talk more when I get inside. He then hears, Smith is here. Naruto opens the door and sees Smith there. Fuck. As all Naruto said. Olympus, oh boy they have some explaining to do really. Said Athena. Maybe but we will see really, said Artemis back with Naruto. 
The next day Su had some stuff in her like Mia's mug and Naruto along with Surya had to stop her then there was a knock on the door and Mia, Surya, Poppy fled with Su. Naruto opened the door and saw a construction crew then he heard something he did not like at all. He came to the room they were remodeling. Naruto took a deep breath then. What the fuck are you idiots doing to my house? He scared them all. Why you were h having a n new guest a and w we are remodeling the room. Stuttered one of the workers. Naruto motioned them to follow and they did. They reached a door that looks like a wheelchair can enter it. He opens the door and sees a waterproof room that needs fixing up. The filter is a waterfall with plants that stop impurities in the water. This room and the one you were in the middle of tearing up are going to be fixed. Got it. They nod in fear. Naruto walks past them. Grafia. Grafia appears, make sure they fix up both rooms I want the other room to be back to the way it was and that room is to be repaired. I will deal with Smith. Grafia bows and says, yes master. Naruto then goes looking for his guest who ran. Olympus. Okay I can't blame Naruto for being pissed about them tearing up his house hell I would be. Said Percy as they are fixing the rooms up. I have to agree with Jackson I would have been pissed if someone did that to my home truthfully. Said Annabeth and the other demigods nod. Artemis is fuming right now. That bitch did not tell him he would have shown them that room instead of them assuming it was the room they started tearing up. Chaos does nod along with the other goddesses, back on earth. We find Mia, Surya and Poppy with Sue in the park. We should be safe with Sue now. Then Surya freaks out, what are we doing we are not allowed out without our host family. Mia realizes this, ah you're right we could get arrested. Surya turns and sees bushes and says, quick hide. So they hide in the bushes. Then men in suits appear one asks, any luck? Another replies with, no can't find them. Well where did they go? Asked another then one says, hey let's check that spot over there. And they go and check. Surya thinks, that was quick they are right on our tail. Then she hears Mia say, Poppy. They look to see an open water bottle on the ground and Poppy is wet. She is also nervous. What happened? Asked Mia and Poppy answered, Sue was thirsty so I was going to share my water. Sue who is in a bucket whose eyes narrowed. Mia turns back around and said, I am sure it will dry soon Poppy just try to be quiet. Then she hears Poppy make a noise of shock and Mia turns back around and asks, what did I just? She stops as she and Saria's eyes widen as Sue is kissing Poppy. After a few minutes Poppy breaks it and asks, Sue what are you doing to me? She is in shock then Sue starts to lick the water from Poppy's stomach making Poppy moan in shock. Saria says, she is lapping up the water. Sue has now moved onto Poppy's chest and Poppy is really nervous as she is blushing, wait a second Sue. If you want water so bad I can go get you some you don't have to do that. Sue is now getting her tentacles to help her. This is are the thoughts of Mia and Saria, if we get wet she will do this to us. With Naruto Naruto is near a hill looking around and saying, where are they? They ran off and that is not good. Then he hears, please someone help I can't stop. Naruto sees a pink hair girl wearing a gothlich lowly maid outfit in a wheelchair going out of control. Naruto goes to help her by cushioning the blow from her getting hit by the pole. She is out of her wheelchair on his lap with a bit of blood coming out of his head. Oh are you alright would you like me to call an ambulance sir? She asked. No I will be alright, said Naruto as his wound closes up. Olympus Artemis looks at her uncle Poseidon. What? He asks and she asks, is she a mermaid? She has a stoic face. Poseidon has a closer look at her and answers, yup she is a mermaid. The demigods are shocked and ask, how can she survive out of water? Asked Annabeth who wants to know along with Percy. Poseidon explains, they are able to survive by using the moisture in the air as long as it is not a scorching hot day and mermaids are able to deal with very cold water or if they are on land they can deal with cold weather. During the explanation Athena and Annabeth are writing everything Poseidon is saying. Artemis nods at the explanation, okay thank you for answering the question. Poseidon nods. Back with Naruto. Naruto gets her back in the wheelchair and wheels her back up the hill. She turns back to him and says, my name is Mero I hope that you can forgive my rudeness. I had almost forgotten to introduce myself. It is all right stuff happens. My name is Naruto. I kinda lost the exchange students that I have hosting, said Naruto. Mero then says, is that so? I don't suppose that you are looking for a centaur, a harpy and a llama by chance. 
Actually yes I am do you know where they are? Asked Naruto and Mero nods saying, I ran into them not too long ago. With the three, I never knew a dehydrated slime would be so much trouble. Said Saria and Maya says, they are still after use. Saria looks and says, there's not much we can do. As she looks from behind the tree. We should wait for a chance to relocate. Maya just looks at Saria and asks, are you sure there are any places to hide? I mean with you but being so big and all. I am not the one that is 20 feet long. Said Saria then she breaks a faucet soaking her backside. Wow that is a lot of water you're soaked it looks like you wet yourself. Said Maya. Then their pupils get smaller as Sue as they're dealing with the water. Oh no Sue leave me alone. I uh, just drink from the tap. Olympus. Many men are out cold with bloody noses. The goddess's eyes are twitching. Well some demigods are safe. They feel a dangerous aura and move away from those with bloody noses and the beatdown begins. Back with Naruto. They return home and the room they tried to tear apart is restored and the room that needed it is restored to what it should be like. We are all done with the repairs and sorry about earlier. Said the foramen. Don't let it happen again and we are good. Said Naruto and he nodded. We did all that work for nothing. Said Saria. Well it seems the repairs are done. I am glad to see that darling. Said Smith who is with Mako and does not know Naruto is pissed off. Naruto turns to Smith and Mako then says, You both have a lot to answer for trying to destroy my home. Do it again and I will put you through so much hell with paperwork that you are buried under all of it. Said Naruto and Smith and Mako are scared and nod their heads very fast. So who is the new house guest? Asked Naruto then the door opens and Mero is rolled in and says, Good evening everyone. Naruto just deadpans and looks at Smith and says, You are luck I had this room ready for a mermaid. I am not a fool. Plus this is not the only pool and I do have wheelchair lifts in this house. Said Naruto. Mero looks at Naruto and moves her skirt abbot and her tail comes out. How did you know? Naruto looks at her and says, I might be the child of chaos and Artemis but their mortal forms when they had me. Plus the name Uzumaki has to deal with the sea as a whirlpool. Plus you smelled like seawater. Mero nods in understanding. Olympus. Damn he knows what Mero was even when they first met the kid is good. Said Athena. While Artemis and Chaos are proud of their son. Back with Naruto. Well I shall give you the tour and there are some rules around here and Graphia will explain those rules to you. Said Naruto as they used the wheelchair lift to get to the next floor. Question is your house built very strong? Asked Mero. Naruto nods. Yes it is because I need a strong house at times I forget my own strength at times really. So the house can deal with about 300 centaurs throwing a very wild party and I am talking about male centaurs. Said Naruto, now I have a question you have a layer of something over your skin what is that? Oh it is mucus it keeps us from being drained out on dry land. Explained Mero and Naruto nods and Mia is not happy at all. Well that explains why Su went after Mero earlier. Said Saria and Mia took Su to do something and Mia is being jealous as hell she turned the AC on and onto a low setting. But Mero was just fine but Mia looked like she was going to go to sleep. Then the heater went up and it would not change. Naruto snapped his fingers and Graphia enters then hands him new batteries. Thank you. By the way, where is Samui? Asked Naruto as he changed the batteries. She went out to get things that we need. Asked Graphia and Naruto nods, and where is Cathal and the others? Graphia thinks, oh they are getting milked by your clones. Naruto nods. Well I am going for a swim. Said Naruto who needs it after he left the room Poppy asked Mero to play a game with her and Mero asked, so tell me Poppy does the master have a woman in his life? And Poppy responded with, uh I am not sure. He has six and a fiance Mero. Naruto Sama is a good man but he is busy even with the full moons. But trust me you don't want to anger any of them. Answered Graphia and Mero nods. Then the incident with Saria feels like she is in the presence of royalty and Mia chokes her. Mero explains that she loves tragedies and that she loves fairy tales. Then Graphia takes her to the pool where Naruto is right now and he has been under the water for 30 minutes and does seems he needs air. Mia then explains to Saria that she also loved fairy tales. Then gets an idea to show Naruto them in their bikinis. With Mero and Graphia, is Master okay? Asked Mero and Graphia answers with, Yes he is fine as he can breath underwater thanks to being the Jubi. 
He also has two forms that will let him breath as well. Then Maya comes in wearing her bikini and Saria does not as Mia's bikini is too small for her and Maya asks, where is darling? And Grafia points into the pool and Naruto is sitting on the bottom. Grafia stops Maya from jumping in. Olympus. Many men are down again but Percy and his father are focused on Naruto as he is breathing underwater like Percy can do. Well this is interesting, said Percy and Poseidon nods. Chaos is drinking some sake while watching her son being under the water. While the men with nose bleeds are getting beaten again. Back with Naruto. Saria had run out of the room and Maya is out, why are you stopping me from saving darling? Grafia responds with, because he is fine he is breathing just fine. Plus the water is too cold for you to be in. Maya is still trying to get in but then she sees Naruto's eyes open and gets up from his sitting position. Olympus. Many goddesses have nose bleeds seeing this and Percy is jealous of Naruto with his build. While the men that were beaten again are still out cold with broken bones this time. Back with Naruto. Naruto looks at Maya and says, Maya take Mero to the bath and both of you will talk there. Then Su jumps at Naruto but he controls some water to have Su absorb. Maya and Mero are in the bath having a heart to heart. Maya says that she will not lose being her darling's wife. Mero responded that she wanted tragic love and started to mess around with Maya like playing with Mia's breasts and telling her that she must forgive a little infidelity on her darling's part and Maya said no darling is mine. Cathal comes in and enters the water after removing her clothes. Okay what are you two doing? Mero explains and Cathal says, sorry girls but he has six girlfriends and a fiancé. So Maya his heart is not going to be all yours ever. Also Naruto won't cheat Mero. She is enjoying the water and the girls have a look of shock. Olympus. Artemis' eyes are twitching. I will not have that serpent as my daughter in law to much a yandere for my tastes. Chaos just nods at this in agreement really and so do the hunters. They know about Naruto and they respect him for earning it. I agree my lady but Saria would be a good daughter in law she at least is respectful. Said Zoe Nightshade she knows Naruto is powerful and can handle himself better than anyone she knows. The man who had the nosebleed will not wake up anytime soon. Hera is looking at Naruto and asks out loud, Do you think Naruto would swear loyalty to us that easy Artemis cause knowing Zeus he will try to get Naruto to bow to him and his commands? Artemis starts to think then says, Not likely really Naruto's will is very strong and he will not bow like the demigods do easily. He would want you to prove you deserve it. But Naruto is very powerful and will not bow to anyone but I believe he will listen to chaos and I, said Artemis with a thoughtful look. What do you mean by you think? Asked Hestia who like the other goddesses, Hades, Poseidon, Hephaestus and demigods are wondering. Our son is unpredictable that is one reason we named him Naruto. You can never really guess what he is going to do to anyone or really anything. His will is indomitable so no one will ever be able to control him. His will won't allow it so Zeus is out of luck really. Explained Chaos. Hera nods along with the goddesses and gods who were not knocked out via nosebleed. Hera then begins thinking, Naruto has a powerful will and mind. I can respect that truthfully. Back with Naruto Naruto's new chaotic life with Monster Girls 4. Naruto is in the kitchen teaching Mia how to cook. How am I doing darling? Mia asked as she looked away from the pot. You are doing well just remember to watch what you are cooking. Said Naruto and Mia responded with, oh don't worry darling I have under control. Then a big fire happens Mia screams and Naruto asks, are you sure you don't want my help? Olympus, that is why you pay attention to what you are cooking so you don't set fire to anything. Said Apollo and the demigods are wide eyes at seeing this. She wants to be my son's wife when her tongue can only taste meat. Ugh this is not what I am looking forward to. Said Artemis and Chaos is nodding agreeing with her. The hunters are just shaking their heads in shame. I hope things get better for them. Said Chaos with her head in her hands. Hera nods at that and Hestia is thinking maybe she can help. Back with Naruto Naruto let out a small sigh as he stood over an embarrassed Mia, a good number of wet towels draped over her tail. Great. First Mia burns her hands and now she's shedding, could this get any worse, he wondered, before sighing a little as he eyed her tail, following it all the way up to where it joined at her waist. Though I'd be lying if I said she wasn't attractive right now, with the way she's blushing from this. Darling. Please don't stare too much, this is really embarrassing, Naruto sighs again, a little harder than before, 
as Mia raised her ass and pulled up her skirt in order to give him easier access to her scales. Damn. Why did this have to happen? And so soon after the full moon too, Naruto slowly reached forward and began to slowly peel off her scales, trying to ignore the intoxicating scent coming from her, as well as the tightening of his pants. Ah darling please oh be more gentle ooh, Naruto's pants tightened even more as Mia moaned each time he pulled off a little more of her scales. Damn. This is so hot. Naruto thought as he peeled away a little more. Though if she keeps this up I'm not sure I can keep control of myself much longer. All right Mia, almost done. With swift ease Naruto grabbed her tail and with fluid grace, pulled off the rest of her scales, causing her to shudder from the pleasure. Well, that wasn't too bad, now that we got the tip of the rest should be easy, Naruto said, before swallowing the huge lump in his throat as Mia turned over revealing her frilly pink panties and the underside of her tail. Crap, I forgot about that, the bulge in his pants was getting bigger at her cute and defenseless postures. Aw fuck it. As a powerful scent hit him, Naruto moved in fast and captured Mia's lip in a surprising yet gentle kiss. Naruto also snaps his fingers. Olympus the viewing screen went black and they are not happy about this and a note appears, sorry perverts no peeping allowed that also means you Apollo, they grumble and Artemis knows what is going on. But the screen returns, uh what? They ask confused. Olympus those in the mansion appear on Olympus and before anyone could say anything Naruto is pulled into a pair of breasts and the one who did it is, oh my darling son. His doting mother Artemis. Mia is not happy and asks, who do you think you are doing that to my darling? Then Artemis looks at her with the eyes of a feared hunter and she hisses out, so you were the one who took my sons for the first time. Well I am his mother Artemis and I could use a snakeskin rug. Mia starts running with Artemis after her and Athena tries to stop Artemis but she is bowled over like bowling pins. She lands on the ground with swirls in her eyes. While Cathal and the other minotaurs giggle and Chaos asks, what is so funny? Cathal answers, Artemis is chasing the wrong girl I took Naruto's first time when he marked me as the alpha demi-human mate. Chaos sees the alpha mark and giggles. Surya is looking around and sees the demigods while Mero is bowing to Poseidon. Surya heads over to the demigods so does Samui, Ert, Kara, Cream, Mill and Chizu. While Hilda, Yolda and Grafia are talking to the hunters and Cathal is next to Naruto smiling while Naruto is giving Percy some advice on training. They start to talk. Then Zeus interrupts. Now that you are here we can finally put you to death. Said Zeus with his master bolt ready to shoot Naruto. Naruto hears that and his eyes to those of the full moon and he lets out a very primal growl showing that he is not scared at all in the council but Artemis and Athena are looking at Zeus like he is an idiot. I don't think so Zeus I have finally figured out my son's domain and his powers. Said chaos with Naruto has the darkness surrounding him and leviathans are appearing on his shoulders the darkness video game and his arms and fingers turn into very vicious claws blacklight claws. Oh and what is the minor god's domains? asked a very snide and arrogant Zeus who just wants to get rid of Naruto now. Zeus and the other gods freeze at that and Athena has as she has woken up. A apocalypse, shouts Athena in shock and horror. That is why Naruto is like that every full moon. He is lacking one thing. His horsemen of pestilence, war, famine and death. He has them the full moon rampages will stop or slow down. Said chaos as Mia is still screaming and fleeing from Artemis. Zeus is paling so bad it looks like Hades has color and Naruto attacks him and he is clawed in the face making Zeus scream in pain and Naruto then starts beating him into a pulp. He is screaming in pain and it gets high as his balls were removed. The demigods are shocked along with the other gods but Artemis is still busy. Then a woman appears. A beautiful woman with moon pale skin, raven hair, delicate features upon a heart-shaped face with mile-long legs and firm yet soft h-cup breasts she is also wearing a midnight black toga she also has alluring black eyes this is nyx the primordial of the night mother what is going on she asked chaos chaos sighs and says your little half brother is trying to kill zeus for wanting to kill him nyx looks at naruto thrashing zeus like nothing after Naruto was done he walked away from Zeus but was pulled into Chaos lap with his head in her K-cup breasts. Really ma? Asked Naruto and Chaos just giggles and says, you are my son I am allowed. Oh meet your half-sister Nyx. Nyx and Naruto shake hands, it is nice to meet you Naruto. And Naruto responds with, I agree with that sister. Naruto then looks and sees Artemis still trying to kill Mia. Naruto gets out of Chaos arms and goes over to save Mia. 
Naruto appears behind Artemis and grabs her, mother enough. Artemis stops but grumbles and pulls Naruto into a hug with his head in her e cup breasts. I am happy that you are here, Naruto. She said in a loving voice, and Aphrodite is very unhappy with Naruto. She planned to try and get him again. I know, Mom, I hate the law that you have to leave me, really, it is a dumb law, said Naruto. Artemis smiles and kisses his head, then says, No matter what, Naruto, I will always love you, okay? No matter what. Naruto smiles and nods, then his mother hears, Lady Artemis, it is an honor to finally meet you. They turn to see Cathal. Naruto chuckles and says, Mom, I want you to meet the real woman who took my first time, Cathal. I like her, please tell me the toad did not turn you into a pervert, said Artemis, and Naruto snorts and says, He has tried, but I had help staying together, really. Artemis nods and they break the hug and head back to the group. Artemis then sits on her throne asks, So what happened to my father? Cause he looks like shit. Asked Artemis and Chaos whispered what their son did to Zeus. Artemis smiles and tells Naruto, I am so proud of you. Then Artemis then hears his titles and asks, Why heroes? Chaos looks and says, Because he is a true hero never asking for anything in return from anyone. Hercules is not that good of a hero. Naruto looks at Chaos. Ma I do need my horsemen. Chaos looks at Naruto and says, They will find you when the time is right not before. But they will find you. Naruto nods and then his group gets back together and teleports back home. Artemis is happy to have hugged her darling son, with Naruto. They get back home and Poppy drops a bomb. Big brother I am going to lay an egg. Naruto sighs and says before he can get hurt. They do this when they reach 15 and it is not fertilized so there's no baby harpy in it. And Mia, Mero and Saria stop before they hurt Naruto. While Cathal is getting the milk to the cafe for the use of it. Then they hear a knock at the door Naruto gets it and the man says he is a film director who is trying to bring humans and demi-humans together and he forces his way into Naruto's home and comments that it is very big. I am sorry but who the fuck do you think you are forcing your way into my home? demanded Naruto who is not happy at all. The man shows Naruto the papers and gets to do what he needs to do. Olympus Artemis, Chaos and Nyx are growling. You don't just barge into someone's place without being invited in as it is rude as shit, said Nyx scaring the demigods. Artemis nods and turns to the hunters, my son might summon you please be ready. The hunters nod in understanding. Back with Naruto Naruto's eye is twitching knowing this man has other plans. He is asking Poppy if it is time yet and Naruto is ready to gut him. He was filming Mero in the swimming pool talking about her fashion then he asks if she was wearing any underwear and Mero got embarrassed. He says he is curious to see what is under that cute skirt. Mia gets angry and his response was it is all for educational purposes. Naruto looks at him and says, that does not matter you don't ask a woman that ever. The man nods in fear. Then the man asks her to show him how she gets out of the pool. After Mero it was Surya and he is very rude. Then he films Mia who has her shedded skin in a bag and Poppy has made an announcement that the egg is coming. Mia then coaches her through it and Mero says that she knows a lot about childbirth. The man then starts filming and asks Poppy to lift up the skirt and has Naruto help massage her stomach. He asks, so what do you plan on doing with the egg? Naruto is starting to lose it very badly. He is having bad thoughts and Sue is reading his mind and they find out what he really had planned. So you're just trying to make a quick buck off of us, said Mia. Then she grabs her tail, Mero grabs a shell, and Saria gets her sword and says, you're nothing but a sick pervert. Give us back Mia's skin. Mero then says, yes and surrender the camera while you're at it. I am not afraid of you, as he has both close to him and then says, you monsters are not allowed to hurt humans. This camera is my property and mine alone and I will not let you hands, hooves or fins on it you hear me. Then he feels someone grabs his head and he hears, so this about money 300,000 yen. They are not the ones you should be scared of. That would be me. Said Naruto whose eyes are glowing, Grafia. Help Poppy please. And Grafia says, yes master. Naruto drags him out of the house and kicks his balls then tells him, get lost. Naruto threw him into the city leaving his camera and skin. Naruto then walks back inside but he steps on the camera destroying it in the video as well. Olympus Artemis is smirking and Zeus is under her throne again from trying to look at Poppy without her underwear. Apollo is watching Graphia with a serious look. She is doing very well at least Naruto has someone who can help with this. Artemis nods along with Chaos and Nyx and the hunters. 
Hera nods and asks, How did Graphia even come to Naruto anyway? Chaos giggles, I don't leave my child like Naruto without someone watching over him when he was younger, says Chaos. Hera nods in understanding back with Naruto, Hey master, how did you know how much Poppy's egg cost? Ask Saria and Naruto says, I know a guy and let's leave it at that. They nod and Mia is humming making something. Oh darling. Naruto says, yes smith. She whispers in his ear. The name and address were faked but we have seen this mo before he must be a repeat offender we will look into this. Naruto nods then she asks, what's for dinner? Naruto said, well Mia is cooking so join at your own risk. Also Poppy where is your egg? Poppy says, Hilda Ney and Yolda Ney had sent it somewhere. Naruto nods and asks them, we sent it to the harpies to care for but it is under Hermes care and it will get there fast, said Hilda. Then Mia says, I hope you are hungry cause we are having my special, boiled egg, and she pulls out a normal chicken egg from the pot. Olympus Artemis looks at Hermes and he nods, yeah it has gotten there safe and sound. Artemis nods and says, good better than being sold on the black market or eaten by something or someone. The demigods nod at that. Athena says, yes I do agree with you there. Unfortunately Mia will not be a good cook easily. As she is a predator her tongue can't taste many foods unless it is meat. They nod. With the director, I will get you back punk you destroyed my camera and all that rare data. Said the fake director grumbling and says, I better get this thread ready and sell it before I go broke. Then someone comes and says, oh you seem to need help. Would you like a hand I do have several. Said the unknown voice. The man turns around and says, shut up. You are lucky that your thread is popular. Can't you keep them in one place? He demands. Oh in one place you mean like this. Said the voice who then closes her hand and he is wrapped up in spider threads. She giggles and says, anyone who would throw away 3 million yen must be too kind hearted or has a hidden darkness. We see who she is you all know how she looks, I will see how long he can keep it up until the truth is revealed. This is intriguing, said Arachne. Olympus Annabeth and her siblings freeze up in fear. Artemis looks over and says, now you know why I wanted Naruto to have an Arachne as his first demi-human to live with him, but Annabeth and her siblings are hiding. Athena sighs and Chaos says, you really screwed up on that having your kids fear spiders. Nyx nods agreeing with her mother but also a little worried for her little brother. Back with Naruto the next morning Mia screams and they all head to her room to see she has human legs. H how did T this happen? She asks scared Naruto then comes in and he looks like he is ready to go for a run. Oh that is all just imagine how you looked before. Said Naruto then she did and she had her tail back. How did you know your master? Asks Surya and Naruto looks at her and says, the mate mark. It now lets her go between human form and her lamia from. Explained Naruto then he heads out for his run. While thinking of a prank. Olympus Artemis and everyone else look at chaos and she says, it is possible really. It has not been documented but it is the first time for everything isn't there? Artemis sighs and says, yes. But I don't want that snake as my top daughter-in-law someone else should be not her. Artemis does not like Mia at all. Chaos and Nyx nod in agreement. Back with Naruto Naruto is jogging and heads into an anime shop and found the book he is looking for and was about to buy when six orcs have taken over the store. Now Naruto is allowed to hurt the extra species since that day Smith found out about him and the leaders know about him and understand he will defend himself and they are alright with it. Alright put your hands up. Said the lead orc and a tail appears and breaks the gun. Naruto turns around and has a very evil smile with sharp teeth and his eyes are glowing. So it seems the pork chops came to me. Naruto smirk and it shows razor sharp teeth. His claws are appearing as the orcs shiver in fear. Naruto then beats the others then comes up to the leader who begs for mercy Naruto doing a jackass move pulls out a dictionary and looks up the word. Mercy ah here it is. Mercy compassion or forgiveness shown toward someone whom it is within one's power to punish or harm. I am sorry but you have confused me with someone who is easily forgiving to those who had a gun to your head said Naruto. Naruto approaches and the orc backs up in fear and Naruto says, sorry if you want mercy the only place you're getting it is in the dictionary under M. Olympus Ares just whistles at this, damn that was a jackass move. Well done. Artemis and Chaos nod at that. Oh I can smell the pork chops already. Said Nyx who is licking her lips. The demigods nod at that agreeing with her. 
Back with Naruto Naruto then beat him badly and after paying for the book and dragged them outside with the police, foreign minister, Smith, Mako and the Mon team. Naruto drops them in front of them and says, have fun, and walks away. Then he runs into Ino, Kakashi and Kiba while Anko is there for insurance. You are coming home now and being my husband. Naruto felt that a horseman was nearby. Look here I belong to no one and you really think that you can scare me into being you fool of a husband you gold digging bitch. Said Naruto who is not in the mood for this shit. Ino just gets angrier. Anko is feeling her mark burn but it feels different than before. Naruto notices and then sends an unnoticed power at her. She feels her mark burning more but it is changing. The curse mark is replaced with the mark that should have been there. Dragon depicted as a Uzumaki swirl within a circle of a snake biting its own tail. The mark of pestilence. Kiba had enough and was about to hit Naruto but his fist was grabbed by the most unexpected person. Anko Mitarashi and Kiba yells out, what the hell Anko we are supposed to bring this loser home. Anko does not answer as a poison fog is coming out of her mouth. Olympus everyone is watching they look to Chaos who is thinking at what is going on then she sees the poison smoke, he found one. Athena then gets it, a horseman but which on? And Chaos answers with, the white rider. Athena then gets it, pestilence. Chaos nods, well I never thought it would be little Anko-chan. Said Artemis she remembers when she was Kashina. Anko was always a kind child and did not deserve what Orochimaru did to her at all. The demigods are a little confused. Then Chaos explains, the four horsemen are called riders. The white rider is what Anko is pestilence. The red rider is war. The black rider is famine. The final is the pale rider is death. And the demigods nod in understanding and in a bit of fear. Back with Naruto Kiba is trying to get out of Anko's hold, what the fuck you snake whore? Shouts Kiba and Anko breaths out a big cloud of neurotoxin making Kiba cough then pass out and Naruto says, well it seems the horseman of pestilence is here. It being Anko ne is a bit of a shock really. Kakashi is shocked that he did not see his book being replaced and Ino is backing away in fear. Well Anko come on time we leave them. Anko whose eyes are hazed over nods and follows Naruto then they hear, damn you Naruto. Kakashi finally found out that Naruto switched his book. When they got to Naruto's house Mia was not happy. WHO is this darling? Then poison smoke was coming out of Anko's mouth and they were all coughing then Naruto snaps his fingers making it vanish and they stop coughing and Anko returns to her senses. W where am I? Asked Anko. She then turns to see Naruto's smiling face. Welcome to my home Anko nay also your curse mark is gone. Anko's eyes widen and runs into a bathroom and checks and sure it enough another mark has taken its place. Anko comes back and asks, what mark is this? Naruto looks and Grafia looks and answers, it is the mark of the white rider. You are one of the four horsemen of apocalypse. You Anko-san or pestilence. Naruto now understands. It seems being near me is the primordial of apocalypse it activated the mark showing that you were one of my horsemen. A harbinger of the end of days. Well let's hope the seals are not broken. The others look confused and Surya asked, Master what seals? Naruto looks at her and answers, There are seven seals if they are all broken then the end of the world happens and nothing can stop it. These seals are the seven symbolic seals. They break it as the end of the world. Everyone but Grafia is shocked that if that happens the end will happen. Olympus the gods beside Chaos and Nyx are shocked and the demigods are pale white. They look like ghosts. Hades then says, oh that would be too much paperwork. The gods nod. Back with Naruto Naruto then heads out to get some groceries while that is going on. With Mon there was a call and they are at the house to answer the call. No one answers the door so Zombina and Tio are ready. Tio is about to break the door down but unknowingly breaks a wire and it lets their target know. The door comes down and Zombina says, attention fellow non-human you have been found breaking the law I suggest you surrender now. The Tio came in. I don't like it here. She then trips and falls on Zombina and Monaco misses the shot at their target. I am glad I am a zombie if I was alive I would be dead. Naruto's home. That was the address the phony director had and the target was supposed to be there. But well she might have slipped past us. Said Smith with an oopsie daisy voice and look. You mean you lost her. Shout Mia. Anyway we are on her trail and that man was not registered as a host family. Where is darling? Asked Smith and Surya answered, they were having a sale at the store so he went to get something. He should be back soon. 
They turned to see Poppy and Sue walk in with food and asked, Where did you get that food? Asked Saria and Poppy answers, Oh we found this food on the ground and can't let it go to waste. They check and all they see is food and a shoe left behind and Mia screams out, Darling. Love. Shouts Cathal. Olympus, ah again my son is kidnapped again. Shouts Artemis who sent her hunters to deal with the man that was tied up. She knows Naruto can handle himself and trusts him. The demigods are just shaking their heads. Back with Naruto. Naruto is hanging upside down by webs and he is not happy at all. The person who did it starts to talk. Well finally awake are we. My name is Rachnera Arachnera. I bet I am the first Arachne you have ever seen. Are you scared? If I was a child of Athena then I would be terrified right now but you have the wrong son. Now would you be so kind as to let me down? Said Naruto whose eye is twitching. Rachnera is a little surprised, oh a tough guy are we. Then she uses her finger to cut the cord and Naruto lands on the ground. Oh I am so unhappy right now. Muttered Naruto Olympus. Damn Athena he has your kids pegged down to a period. Said Nyx while Athena just groans and her kids are hiding from the giant spider woman. I know I fucked up okay. Said Athena back with Naruto. Naruto is on the ground and Rachnera's top slips and Naruto's eyes are closed and then the guard comes in and Rachnera has Naruto's her in her breasts and his lover half near her lower half. Then she feels something and she says, it seems I am not the only one with an extra appendage. Naruto looks at her and says, well no da I have a very beautiful yet deadly woman shoving my head in between her breasts. Also you are giving off pheromones. Rachnera covers his mouth with more webs and after the guard leaves she is going to punish him. She removes her top but to the ones on Olympus they are blurred out. She has them on his back and then starts nibbling his ear. Naruto then has enough he breaks the cord holding his mouth he is free then shoots out a chakra chain to bring him to the ceiling and removes the webbing. Then the door is thrown open and Naruto looks down to see Sasuke Uchiha. Oh great this fucker. Says Naruto and Sasuke sends a fireball at him but used magic to stop the fireball. You know Sasuke you were a traitor and yet they take you back after going to old Snakeface. Said Naruto. Sasuke says. I killed him they needed the Uchiha clan more than any other clan there is. Naruto looks at Sasuke and says something that hits his pride hard. Oh that fight I held back a lot. Sasuke became enraged when he heard that and summons Suzano and Naruto has his hands up making a magic seal and what Sasuke does not know is the place got bigger. Olympus Artemis is eating popcorn to watch her son beat the snot out of the arrogant Uchiha. So is Chaos enjoying the show along with Nyx. Back with Naruto Sasuke is done making Suzano you know how his Suzano looks like but what he is seeing is scaring him. As he is staring at a 30 foot tall devil creature with purple muscle looking skin, blue bone like armor, white bone claws that extended like talons, and large pronounced wings equal in height made of the same blue bone like armor and leather filling. Face was a menacing scowl with two pairs of pincer like armaments of both the blue armor and purple muscular skin and blood red eyes. The being is cracking its knuckles. Meet Ravial Lord of Phantasms, said Naruto. Olympus, what the hell has he summoned? Shouts Athena who is scared chaos is looking in shock. I don't believe it Naruto summoned Ravial Lord of Phantasms. Who? Asked Artemis and chaos explains, Ravial is part of a trio. Together with Uriya Lord of Searing Flames and Hammon Lord of Striking Thunder they cause untold chaos or destruction I hope Naruto can control them. Back with Naruto Rachni is watching this thinking that Naruto is different from others. Ravial then sent a punch heading toward Sasuke. Sasuke is in so much shock that he does not see a punch coming and it smashes through Suzano like it was nothing. Sasuke is flung against a wall in so much pain while Ravial roars. Naruto smirks. Sasuke tries to get up but Naruto unleashes a massive flame hitting Sasuke and he looks like he was charred and collapses. Then the door is forced open again and Smith with Team Mon came in. But they are shocked at seeing Ravial who is about to attack, Ravial that is enough they are not your enemies at all. Said Naruto and Ravial stops and backs up making the ground shake. The other gulp. Then Smith and Rachni talk and Naruto became her host family now. They turn to see Naruto tying Sasuke up with Rachni's webs and it is embarrassing and he is without any clothes with marker written on him that he is a tiny gay emo and an arrow points to his cock. He also put makeup on Sasuke and even a dildo up his ass and it is vibrating making him moan. Olympus everyone is on the ground laughing at this and Hermes and Apollo are saying, go Naruto, 
and the hunters return with the perverted director all beaten to shit and ask to have him sent to Mon and he disappears to Mon and is arrested. Chaos is thinking. Good he can control them that is good. Back with Naruto a few days have passed and things are getting hard. Mia did not want Rakni to be with them and was tied up. While Surya was lying to herself and Rakni set her straight after Naruto dealt with the racist couple. It was actually very funny. Flashback some of the idiots are holding Naruto while the leader is going right for Surya's breasts and Naruto sees red. He then grabs one of their heads making that man scream in pain causing them to turn and see Naruto getting out of the hold with an aura of death coming from him. So you idiots think you can molest an ambassador and get away with it. Over my dead body, Naruto then goes on the attack and beats them all badly that they are sent to the hospital. Flashback end as punishment Rakni tied Surya up. Though Cathal and Rakni get along the same with the other minotaurs. They are working on the farm while Naruto is milking the minotaurs and they enjoy it very much. They all work on the farm as it is a good way to work out and stay healthy. Well Mero can't really help much. Surya was shearing the fawns and Mero was getting the wall along with Rakni's thread ready and the real Naruto was milking Cathal and she was moaning but Mia was jealous that her darling was not paying her any attention. The next day Naruto gets a letter and it is not a nice one either and he brings it up with Smith and they plan. Olympus, I wonder what the letter says to make my son concerned. Asked Artemis it also has Nyx and Chaos concerned and Aphrodite is thinking and not about boys or men for once. Maybe it could be a threatening letter but we will not know until they tell the others. Said Aphrodite and Artemis along with Athena agree with her. Maybe but you know how hard Naruto has it as with his guests. Said Percy with the other demigods nodding and Zeus is hoping Naruto dies he should not even be alive at all. Back with Naruto the following day Naruto is waiting for someone and he checks the time and says, she is late. Then he sees Smith come up to him and she is not dressed in her regular clothes but her day of clothes. A skirt with a blue shirt and a jacket and normal glasses. Then they head to a maid cafe and Naruto's guests are following him. Olympus Artemis's eye is twitching but Aphrodite is looking serious and Artemis asks, What is your daughter doing with my son? And Aphrodite answers with, I really don't have a clue of what they are doing. Back with Naruto, So why a maid cafe? Asked Naruto and Smith says, I have always wanted to try one. They don't know that Mero, Mia, Poppy, Sue and Surya are following them. While Cathal and the others are busy while Samui is out getting the wool and rachne thread to the clothing makers Naruto has working for him. Smith asks the maid for two coffees. The four are looking in through the window. Is he on a date with Ms. Smith? How dare he cheat on me? Asked Mia and Surya says, we can't tell anything for certain yet. Then Mero says, we need to go in and find out for ourselves that's the only way to be sure. Yes you're right, but none of us actually blend in. Said Saria and Maya came up with, what if we wore costumes covert ops? Saria shoots it down, we don't have anything on hand. Then again I do believe Sue is a walking disguise. Then they get an idea. Smith does not like the coffee at all. Then they hear, welcome home sirs. They turn to see what looks like Mero walking and her breasts are a bit bigger than normal. It will just be a moment. Said the Mero look alike and Naruto sighs knowing it is her. The maid makes a call and Naruto hears it, yes Mia sama he did not know it was me. It turns out Sue turned into a skirt so Mero can stand up. Mero gets the drinks and accidentally spills them. Getting someone wet and Mero says sorry and he was ready to yell. Mero then thinks about a tragic story that could happen but she hears find out if it is a date and if he is really cheating on us. Then she hears Smith ask Naruto if he would like to go anywhere after their date. That shocks Mero. Olympus Artemis is ready to kill Smith more than anything. Chaos is the only one stopping her really and Aphrodite is still thinking with a serious face and says, I have no idea what is going on. Back with Naruto. I would like to go somewhere to be alone. Any suggestions? Said Smith while Naruto says, I am not really sure. I am sure we can think of something. Mero is shocked and starts sweating and Sue makes her move to absorb the water. Mero hides and Naruto along with Smith look in confusion. Mero remembers what Naruto says about Sue. Mero tries to hold in her moans as Sue is working on getting the water. Mero is on the ground and Smith asks for the bill and tells Naruto they can wander around. After Naruto pays the bill. They come across Mega Games and they see a cosplay party. What is this a cosplay party? Asks Smith. Naruto turns to see two cosplayers doing the same person. Smith says, let's go. Naruto nods and thinks, 
I need a vacation and soon. France is a nice place and I can visit my friend there. Saria. Mia and Meru who looks like her soul is leaving her body. He didn't notice us. Said Mia and Saria pulls out a phone and tells Poppy that Master is heading her way. It turns out the other girl is Poppy with Sue using her transformation. She starts following them with her cell phone in hand. Then gets a picture taken unknowingly and Sue has to drink to keep hydrated. Naruto and Smith are playing a crane game and Smith has a prize. Sue drops the phone. Poppy tells her to get it and Sue starts to grab the breasts attracting a lot of attention. The phone falls into the panties and is vibrating. Poppy starts to convulse from where the phone is. Naruto is holding a lot of toys Smith has won and she said she is not supposed to be blowing her money in arcades. Olympus everyone is just shaking their heads at how they had planned so well to spy on Naruto and Smith. Back with Naruto they then went to get ice cream and Smith was relaxing. Naruto gets it and asks for two ice creams and sees the two behind the counter look familiar. Coming right up. They said then they hand him the ice cream and take it back to Smith and is muttering, man I really need that vacation. Mia asks if he found out it was them. Things then get crazy and when they are done Smith drags Naruto somewhere says, all right it seems I need to take you there darling. Mia asks, there where is there? While turning in the direction and they see a love hotel. Mia then asks Saria to watch the stand forgetting that Sue is being used by both of them. The more Mia pulls the more the Sue is stretched and Saria's top came off and she screams and runs away. While Mia is under Sue who is in the shape of a box, she then gets to the point of infiltration and then hears, right on schedule one didn't think you would make it here that easily. Mia looks up and sees, Rachnera. What are you? I was with you the whole time. Said Rachni and Mia asks, the outfit. I made it with my own silk she says. Anyway is a lively one to go into a love hotel in the middle of the day. Rachnera has webs attached to the windows and to her fingers then brings her hand to her ear and is able to hear everything. She then hears Smith's voice and says, it seems like they are in that room. Rachnera starts to head that way and Mia says, wait what are you going to do? Ron holds up a camera and says, I am going to get some blackmail. He is supposed to be choosing a wife from all of us. It would be an absolute disgrace if he was getting friendly with the coordinator, wouldn't it? I will make sure it is a wonderful blackmail. Mia then says, wait Rachnera. I'm going too. Take me with you. Rachni looks at Mia and says, do you think you can handle it? Mia just stops at that. Then Rachni explains, you're making a big fuss about him cheating on you even though Cathal and Samui should be angry, but can you really think you can stand to witness it? Can you really handle seeing your beloved darling making love to another woman? Mia does not respond and Rachni turns away and says, I won't say anything bad just sit tight down there. Mia then mutters, he's not. Rachni hears it and turns to Mia with a confused look. Mia then is on Rachni's back with her arms around her neck choking her and says, he's not. My darling is not cheating on me. Olympus Artemis is fuming at Mia. She really thinks that she is good enough to be his head wife. Never. Shouts Artemis is in full protective mother mode. Scaring everyone besides Chaos who is in the same boat as Artemis. Note to self. Never anger Artemis to the point she goes into protective mother mode. Mutters Nix. Back with Maya. There's got to be a reason he is with Smith. He can't be cheating so I can see. Shouts Maya and Ron shouts back. That's your logic. Then Rachni says, come on let go I am not that strong. And Mia shouts, I want to see darling. Hurry up and get off me. Shouts Rachni and Mia shouts, oh shut up. They're going to find out we're here. They do not see the window open. Then two hands reach out and grab their heads and pull their upper bodies into the window. They find two guns at their heads. The light turns on and they see Monaco and Zombina with guns to their heads. Tio who pulled them in. Doppel with his next to Smith who has a cup in her hand and is sitting on a chair fully clothed. Then they see their honey, darling on the bed drinking sake from a sake gourd. Then stops and lets out a breath, ah that is good sake. Now what are you both doing here Rachni, Mia? You both and the others really need to work on your stealth. They are shocked he knew it was them the whole time. Olympus they are shocked and Apollo along with Hermes are crying so are Zeus and Ares. Before they get their asses kicked hard. Aphrodite then says, it seems they were bait but why? Artemis who has finished removing her brother's manhood and is back on her throne and says, you're right. But the big question is why? They all look and see they are at a cafe to get answers. 
Back with Naruto Sue is tired from all the transformations and Smith begins to explain. Not too long ago Darling got this letter in the mail. She pulls out the letter in a sealed bag and it says, if you marry someone. I will kill you. Olympus those who are not out cold are shocked. Artemis turns to Hades who is checking a list of those who are to die and says, I don't see Naruto's name on this list at all. His time will not end that easy at all. He is too tough to kill. As he knew what Artemis was going to say and Artemis then lets out a breath she did not know she was holding. Back with Naruto they are shocked and Rachni says, it looks like a threatening letter. Smith nods and says, we were hoping that we would be bait to get whoever wrote that out into the open. But on the inside her heart is beating faster she had fun on the mock date. Am I falling for Naruto? She asks herself in her head. Then tells the girls that she needs a favor. I need you all to date him and for Poppy who is a sister to him it would be more like family bonding. They are shocked and Naruto just sighs and thinks, great more reason to take a vacation really. But Smith Naruto has six girlfriends and a fiancé. Said Surya, I know but we need to draw the person out. Said Smith and Naruto mutters, France is nice around this time of year. I need a vacation. Naruto is at the aquarium with Mia and Mero though Mero went somewhere. Mia is still not happy that Mero is here. They then went to go look at the fish and then Mero appears again and Mia is not happy. They went to see the dolphin show and Mero is in the show. The show was interesting and the dolphin got a little naughty grabbing Mero's top. She leaves Naruto. As she is jealous that Naruto is not paying her the attention she should have. Olympus Artemis's eye is twitching and mutters, that snake bitch is jealous and she thinks that she should be my daughter-in-law. Leaving my son like that. Ah. Uh. Artemis then feels a migraine coming on. The hunters agree with their lady they would rather have Cathal instead. But she is the alpha of the demi-human mates. The demigods are backing away from Artemis. Back with Maya. Maya then sees a tail of someone and they had a trench coat on. He looked like a lizard man. My apologies I was spacing out somewhat. He turns around and sees Maya, oh it is quite rare to see a young extraspecious lady. He says. Wow an extraspecious person, I'm guessing a lizard man from the tail. Thought Maya, it's just the air in here I lose my train of thought as soon as I start getting cold. Said the lizard man and Maya says, ah, I know what you mean. She is happy that someone knows her pain. When you're standing under the AC, you just want to start hibernating. Said Maya the lizard man nods, I know. I know. Even the refrigerators at the supermarkets are a pain. Said the lizard man then reaches into his trench coat and pulls out a can of coffee saying, here this will warm you up even if you don't drink it. Th thank you, stuttered Maya and the lizard man asks, but what's the matter? You seem quite upset about something just now. Maya stutters, W well. And Tio is listening to this, um it's a little cold here. Why don't we go out in the sun? Asked the lizard man. Tio calls Smith and has a dolphin plushie Naruto got her to keep her from hurting the real dolphins and Smith tells her to follow as Darling can handle himself. Smith also tells her Maya could also be targeted as well. Olympus. Artemis is looking at this and says, at least she is thinking about both Naruto and that snake. Artemis hisses the word snake. She really does not like Maya at all. Back on earth. Maya is on a boat on a lake and the wind is cold and the lizard man gave her his jacket. Then says, but what a terrible man, bringing along other women on your date. Then Maya responds with, huh. Oh that's not how he is at all. The lizard man says nothing as Maya keeps talking, darling is so kind. He just gets caught up taking care of Mero. And the lizard man responds with, but if he really cared about you he wouldn't leave you behind. Mero's the in the wrong. She said she was going to help me, but she just ended up flirting with him. Shouted Maya. Then Mia had hearts coming out of her head and says, but darling is so kind, he just can't leave Mero alone. I guess it's that kindness that I fell in love with. Mia is gushing right now. Olympus, let me at that snake I will make her into a snakeskin quiver shouted a very angry Artemis with her hunters having to hold her back and the demigods along with some of the gods and goddesses are hiding from this. Chaos is just shaking her head at all of this with Nyx hiding behind her. Back with Naruto, stop talking about men already. Said the lizard man. What's so good about that human? That wishy-washy carefree guy who looks like he stepped out of a light novel. Olympus Artemis looks like she is ready to kill the fucking idiot. Back on earth. 
W what is going on? Asked a nervous Mia. I want you for my own. We're both reptiles it would work out fine. And if he gets in my way I'll take care of him myself. Said the lizard man. In a threatening way Mia is shocked, wh, she is cut off. The only person who can understand you is someone of the same kind. Someone like me. Said the lizard man. H hey wait. I know lizard men are close to Lamia but, Mia is cut off again. Lizard man. I am not a lizard man. The back of the shirt moves then rips and it shows wings, I'm a dragonoot. The king of all reptiles, no king of all animals. Brethren of dragons carrying their royal blood. I am Draco the dragonoot, said the now named Draco. Dragonoot, d. Could he be the culprit? Mia asked herself then her mouth is covered and Draco says, all you have to do is follow me. And has his tail wrapped around her arms. You don't need to follow a human. Nevertheless a human male. Draco said with disdain then tries to go for Mia's top and says, I've been watching you. And you will finally become mine. As Draco has his hand on Mia's naked breast and Mia is thinking, save me. Save me darling. Well what have we here a dragon ripoff trying to get with my mate. Her prayers were answered and they turned to see Naruto with death in his eyes. Okay dragon reject let her go or else. Draco growls and swipes at Naruto and he grabs Draco's arm. You can't hurt me human it is against the law. Naruto then has a very evil smirk and says, I am not a normal human no I am a primordial son of chaos herself along with Artemis. So I can beat the ever living shit out of you. Naruto lets Draco go and starts gathering fire and Draco is looking for the oars he did not know that Mero took them. Naruto then sinks the boat and gets Mia to safety and gives her his jacket. Why you? Get away from my bride. Fire dragons roar. Shouts Naruto and a stream of fire comes out and hits Draco. When the stream stops Draco looks like he or she as they are seeing is covered in burns. I don't think she sent the threatening letter but she wants a friend but she went about it the wrong way. Said Naruto as he was guessing. Draco flew off and Naruto showed Mia a necklace he got her and he had put it on her. She hugs him and she says that she loves him and wraps her tail and squeezes. Naruto screams and you could hear bones break. Olympus Artemis is ready to kill, must kill Snake. If she comes back she has died I don't care she will be made into a quiver. Many are hiding the only one who isn't is Chaos. With Draco Tio she is holding a stuffed dolphin and has Draco in a headlock and she has holes in her wings Smith is talking to her. I see someone went out without her host family again. I am going to let you off with a warning this time. But this will be the last time. Understand? You have not heard the last of me. Shouts Draco and then Smith closes her book and thinks, so she isn't the one who sent the letter I wonder who it is. Back with Naruto Naruto, Mia and Mero are heading home after a long day. But then Neji appears, hello Naruto how are things? He is calm and Naruto smirks and shakes Neji's hand, I am well man. How have you been? Neji smiles, well I am doing well. My teammate is worried about her family being away. Tenten wants to see her cousin again. Naruto and Neji both chuckle and Naruto slips a piece of paper into Neji's pocket, well man we gotta get home we had a long day. Neji nods in understanding. When Naruto and his friends are not in sight Neji checks what Naruto left in his pocket. Neji you are to bring Tenten to this address one day and I will explain more. I know Kurinai Ne is here as she is working at one of my maid cafes. Stay safe Naruto, Neji smiles at his friend's note. On it has Naruto's address time skip night Naruto is getting ready for bed then Samui comes in looking at Naruto with worry. Are you alright Naruto? And Naruto says, maybe but I really need a vacation actually. Samui nods as he is stressed and this is not helping at all, I am surprised you have not snapped. Naruto says, if I had snapped I would have unleashed the three and just caused untold amount of chaos. Samui nods then kisses him on the forehead. I hope your dreams help you good night Naruto. Naruto smiles and says, good night my queen of cool. In a forest Naruto is cooking on a grill. What he is cooking is meat. Poppy and Sue are eating raw meat, girls enough that is for cooking not eating yet. Said Naruto. Olympus they are looking confused that they are in a forest and it is not Naruto's forest. Okay what is going on here? Asked Artemis and everyone else just shrugs. Back with Naruto, it is a nice place to be. Though I would like to say that if there was not so much fucking garbage in this forest. Said Naruto as Poppy and Sue were sitting on a pile of it behind a sign that said, illegally dumping prohibited don't leave your trash here. So Poppy why did you want to come to this forest? 
asked Naruto and Poppy responds with, I didn't say that big brother. Naruto then deadpans and remembers her bird brain. Then Poppy starts trying to remember something, now that I think about it. I do feel like I forgot something. Something important. Poppy is trying to remember. Em this is so good. Naruto turns around to see Zombina eating meat. What the hell do you think you were doing? Stop chowing down. You're supposed to be our bodyguard aren't you? Says Naruto with an eye twitch. She grabs more and eats while saying, man I love meat. Naruto is there and says, this was your idea. You said if we made it look like I was alone with the girls in the woods we might draw out the guy who wrote the letter. But he's not going to come out if he knows you're with us. It is nothing to freak out about. Said Zombina. Why not? Asked an irritated Naruto. Oh by the way. I heard someone dumped some industrial waste around here. So be careful. She swallows as Naruto says, what? Industrial waste. Then she gets closer and says, you could get infected and turn into a radioactive goo monster. Naruto says, I am not sure how to respond to that. While Sue and Poppy are watching this. I wonder if your face would melt off. Ha 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 said Zombina as she laughs. Olympus Artemis along with her hunters, Chaos, Nyx and Arella plus Demeter dead pan at this and the demigods are just smacking their foreheads. Back with Naruto then they all hear banging and they turn to where it is coming from. They see a giant tree monster and they are not doing anything. They are in shock. Um okay that's a tree monster. Said Zombina then it brings its foot down and steps on Zombina. It sends everyone else flying, even the grill. The tree monster then swings its arm and causes an explosion and Naruto gets out of it with Poppy and Sue in his arms. Can someone tell me what that crazy thing is because it is a whole lot more terrifying than a zombie? Is that another non-human species because it looks like a tree, said Naruto as he is running. Vines are coming out of its shoulder. Olympus they all look at Artemis and she says, I have no idea Gia might be able to answer this but not me sorry. The others nod. Back with Naruto Poppy finally knows and she says, Ki. Then the being says her name, Poppy, Poppy. The vine then wraps around Poppy, Poppy. Shouts Naruto as Poppy is pulled closer to the beast. Then Naruto gets wrapped up and he tells Sue, run Sue find Smith tell her what is going on. Naruto is then pulled to the beast and Sue says, Master. Then the beast takes a step and sends Sue flying. She flies off a cliff and hits three rocks and says, ow, ow, ow. Then she lands into containers with the words, experimental superpower netriones. With red tape saying, toxic waste. Olympus, so that is what they dumped into the forest those idiotic mortals, shouts Artemis. Those connected to nature are not happy at all. Back with Naruto Naruto and Poppy are brought to the beast's face and it opens up and they see a woman with leaf for hair you know how she looks, stand down human. I will not allow you to harm me. Said the woman. I am a dryad keeper of plants and protector of the forest and I despise you human beings. Naruto looks at her and says, oh great another protector or child of Gaia. You know you are not the first dryad I have met. But what the fuck happened to you? The vine squeezes Naruto making him scream then Poppy screams out, no. Don't do it. Please don't hurt my big brother. Stop. The key says, Poppy. The vine stops and it loosens and Naruto is no longer in pain. Olympus, that dryad is going to try and kill my son I don't think so, shouted Artemis but Chaos stops her and says, there's one other that dryads will listen to. Artemis stops but scowls at the dryad. Back with Naruto, guess Ki is mad, are you okay, asked Poppy and Naruto looks at her and asks, Ki you know her. Poppy responds with, we're friends, I forgot about her for a long time flashback it was before i met you i was flying around one day when i saw taking care of some bad people poppy narrates the turned over car poppy lands on it and sees a small dryad poppy continues then ki was separated from her friends ki was also weak without dirt or water so poppy planted her here shows ki setting roots into the ground with poppy's help then she flies away promising to come back to visit flashback over okay i can see that but why ki Asked Naruto and Poppy responds with, Ki rhymes with tree. I kind of forgot about her after that. Naruto deadpans and says, of course bird brain. Ki I promise that my big brother is not a bad person. So please let him go. Said Poppy. Naruto responds with, no dust son of Artemis goddess of the hunt. I love forests very much. Ki responds, Poppy. Huh? 
is Poppy's response and Kii continues, humans are the ones that brought me to this place. You may be my friend. But humans are anything but. The vines tighten again and Naruto screams in pain and Poppy screams, don't hurt him. Naruto thinks, Dryad starts with D but I am not sure that she is the one who sent the death threat. Poppy gets free and heads for Kii while saying, stop it Kii. A vine hits Poppy sending her tumbling in the air. Poppy get back, it is too dangerous. Poppy answers with, but this whole thing is my fault. If I hadn't forgotten about her she wouldn't be so angry. That means I have to be the one to stop her. With tears in her eyes. Olympus Hestia says, you admit your mistakes and that is the first step to forgiveness. Learn that well young demigods. And the demigods nod but so do the hunters. Back with Naruto Ki then hits Poppy sending her flying with feathers falling, Poppy. Shouts Naruto Poppy is screaming then lands on something very soft and bouncy. Olympus they are looking very confused then Artemis understands who it is, SUU. They are all shocked that it is Su. Back with Naruto Su's back looks like Godzilla and Poppy is between her breasts. Naruto asks, Su why are you giant too? Then he is grabbed by Su. Then he is put on her breast and she says, Master it is only a guess but I believe the reason that she has grown so large is that she had ingested the experimental nutrients that were illegally dumped here. Therefore if we can suck the nutrients out of her, she may return to her previous state. Okay it seems your brain has gotten bigger. Let me down and distract her I have a plan. Said Naruto and Sue puts him down and she keeps Key occupied. Naruto runs into the forest and then gets on his knees and starts a chant with a magic seal appearing around him. Back with Su Su is holding Ki off but is not doing well then they hear something they also feel the ground shake. Hey Ki over here. They turn to see Naruto standing on the shoulder of a ground giant who is walking shaking the ground. Olympus, ah he summoned a giant he is working with them I want him killed now. Demands Zeus but Chaos says something, that is no giant that I know. She is looking closer along with Nyx. Then if it is not a giant then who is it women answer me now demands Zeus who just wants Naruto dead. Chaos eyes widens, well I'll be damned he summoned Gia herself. The gods and goddesses freeze in fear but not Artemis and the demigods are shocked, you sure dear? Asked Artemis and Chaos nods, yup that is my daughter Gia alright. Or for you Romans Terra. Chaos has a proud smile on her as her son called his oldest sister and her eldest daughter. Back with Naruto Ki is looking a little scared, w who is that? Naruto smirks and says, allow me to introduce the oldest child of my mother Chaos. The primordial of the earth, the mother of all. My eldest sister Gia herself. Said Naruto who is smirking and Ki is shocked this woman is earth herself. Gia then tells Naruto, the way to remove the nutrients is to suck them out of her breasts. Naruto nods in understanding. Poppy then starts before the vines remove her and she can't reach. Olympus the gods are very jealous. Hades and Poseidon aren't so many demigods they are jealous. Then they get their asses kicked badly. Back with Naruto it seems that Ki is not the only one getting pleasure as Poppy is being pleasured by the vines and Su also has the Netruans sucked out of her breasts. Zombina finally gets out of the hole and says, it felt like I was going to die again. She then looks up and both Ki and Su collapses onto Zombina. Time skip evening Poppy is standing next to Ki who is back to normal and Su as well. Well that was quite an ordeal. But it could have been worse. Luckily there was no chance of casualties out her in the sticks anyway. Said Ms. Smith. Naruto's eye twitches and next to him is a woman with a pale skin redhead with forest green eyes. She is wearing a forest green sundress which shows off her triple K cup breasts very well and she is barefoot. This is Gaia's human form. Now then this must be the girl. Said Smith who leans in closer to get a good look at Ki. Smith I have to ask will you put her with a host family or leave her here? Asked Naruto. You offering darling, asked Smith, until I get my other horsemen she is safer here but after that she can stay with me as my forest is big enough and the ones who walk in know the rules and they clean up their trash. Said Naruto, Smith nods in understanding as the full moons are still a dangerous time to be around him. Very well. But until then Ki will be here. No worries we will deal with the industrial waste that mutated you. Said Smith as she got to Ki's height. Thanks. Says Ki, of course if you wish to go home I am sure we can arrange that as well. Said Smith then Ki thinks about this, if Poppy and Sue can come and play with my I don't mind staying here. Said Ki. Poppy and Sue are happy then Ki says, 
But that guy doesn't have to come. Naruto just gives her a look and Gia speaks up, he has to come Ki. They can't go anywhere without Naruto. Also I will be popping in once in a while to check up on you. Ki nods. Naruto nods and asks, now about Zombina. Then they hear, well I always wondered what it would be like to be buried alive or buried dead. Get me out of here. Naruto then looks at Gia and asks, well I hope you visit sis. I would love to have you over one day. Gia smiles and says, I would love to come over one day. Olympus Percy says, yeah good idea invite your half sister over. It would be interesting to see. The others agree and then get back to watching and Gia appears. Back with Naruto Naruto when he gets home milks the girls and they moan enjoying it. That night Naruto is heading to his room and when he enters he sees Cathal on his bed looking at him in a sexy way. Cathal is in her bikini. How about I help relieve some stress na, ru, too. Naruto smiles and says, oh I would like that. Cathal says, well what are you waiting for? Come get your slutty cowgirl mate. Olympus they are watching and the screen goes blank. Well it seems my son is not a fucking fool said Artemis with chaos nodding. Then the screen returns and they see what is going on. Okay what the fuck just happened? Asked Artemis who is watching her son about to fuck his mates and chaos shrugs and says, I don't know. Back with Naruto five hours later Cathal and Mill have fucked stupid looks on their faces and Naruto's mate mark on them which is a snarling wolf with ten tails with Cathal's in front of an A while they are glowing. Along with stomachs looking like they are pregnant. Naruto smirks as he loves his mates so very much. Olympus Annabeth looks at Percy with a face and he is nervous. She then grabs him and drags him away for a little private time. So many males are jealous of Naruto. He is able to go for a long time and now Aphrodite really wants him for her own. Hera is wet between her legs along with Chaos, Artemis and Nyx at seeing Naruto's powers in bed. Athena is looking around and is now angry her daughter is going to sleep with stupid son of Poseidon. Zeus feels less than any man should feel. Back with Naruto Naruto kisses both Cathal and Mill's cheeks and is dressed then heads home. He then cuddles with them in his bed and thinks, what other trouble is going to happen in the future? To be continued. Remember to subscribe and like this video. See you in the next part.